All right, let's get started. Happy Tuesday. No, Thursday. Happy Thursday. Wow, the week has flown by. Happy Thursday, everybody. How's everyone doing? <clears throat> Hello, Kaz. What's up, Renee Coder? Sag accountant already redeeming a hat. Sure. Here, we'll put on the beanie first today. How's that? Amazing. Feel comfy as hell. What's up, Day King? What's up, Zoo Raider? Dulil? How's everyone doing? Altered Oaks. Time flies when you're having fun. Hey, Flygon. True. True. That's true. I am having fun. Hey, Flygon. Just here to remind you about that one inverted emerald ROM I sent you several months ago in case you were wanting to do something new. I did completely forget about that. Thank you for reminding me. Um, Can you ping me again on Discord just like so that your thing goes to the top? So it's it's up there. I'll, I'll look into it. That might be fun. Time flag on when you're having fun. True. True. What advice would you give to a beginner Nuzlocker? Um, there's a video on YouTube that I made that has some advice for that. I can do some more simple ones too, but generally I would say just pick the first game or like get the game that you know best and just do it. If you make mistakes, just keep going and like learn and just improvise and improve on yourself. The best thing that you can do is have experience. Moxie, yo, how's it going, man? Yo, how's your week going, dude? Stoked to see this run continue. Thank you, thank you. My week has been going great. Um, I, I really had to work super hard to get the video out that's gonna come out on Saturday. So I like did a whole crap load of editing yesterday. Um, so I'm a little tired from that. It's a sun and moon playthrough. So those are always really hard to edit because there's so much like going on in the battles. Uh, and I tend to use pretty stally stuff for those. But um, yeah, yeah, I hope that one turns out fun. What's up, Oxy? How you doing? Thanks for t tuning in. I really appreciate it. Sidegent, thank you for the follow. Brobag, Sensei Dom, thank you all for the follows. It's a toxic stall season again. <laughs> no, I mean, I there's there's a couple things that I toxic stall, but I try and cut out most, most of the toxic stall. But honestly, like in Sun and Moon, because of the totems, sometimes that's like the best way to do it, you know? There's so many cutscenes you have to delete. True. <laughs> Nuzlocke tip. It's easier if you revive your Pokemon and pretend you didn't. That's true. But honestly, remember, Nuzlocking is a made-up thing. So as soon as it's not fun for you, change the rules. Like, unless you're going to post a video on YouTube saying that you did a clean Nuzlocke, there's no reason that you need to, like, hold yourself accountable to rules just for the sake of doing it. So, like, you can have a mulligan if your starter dies or something, you know? As long as you're, like, honest about it in whatever... Thing you post online about it i don't have a pro I don't, I don't think like you should really do anything that you don't want to do you know um so we just beat mars um so now we're gonna go into eterna forest and now i'm pretty sure cheryl bites fights you right away so yeah uh we're gonna have to prepare for that i think but we can go ahead and clear through some of this stuff up here Honestly, the worst part of Toxic Stall is how many YouTubers keep explaining why it's the best strategy for this and talking about it step by step. Like, that's two minutes of just the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't do that in this video. I just pretended like I didn't do it. Um. So, do we just, like, fight this person? The thing is, I don't know, like, how, how much I want to individually prepare for, like, each of these different trainers, you know? I feel like it can't be that that difficult, especially if we lead Chimeco, since Chimeco is pretty strong right now. Although, like how how much damage do we have to, or I mean, how much do we have to do here to people? You know, you know what I'm saying? Ponyta. Ooh, um, this thing has pursuit, probably right. Well, doesn't matter. Chimeco is so good. Cheryl is HP specialist. So Cheryl has a Drifloon, a Makuhita, a Whalmer, and a Chansey. Quite the eclectic team, but I think we should be okay. What's a toxic stall? Isn't that just the name of the bathrooms at Taco Bell? Hey, Got him. Ooh, TM bulk up. That's super nice. Thank you for that. Um... What does this guy have? 
this hiker, hiker Daniel. Oh, psh, 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 psh. Where, where's our water types, man? Oh, there's our water types. You still playing PLA? Which point are you at? Um, I have finished the game. I'm just doing the post game stuff now. And mainly I'm just like trying to get um, like 10 or whatever you call it in all of my uh, encounters, like for all my Pokemon, you know? When does this thing evolve? Pretty soon, right? 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 I think so. Uh, here you go. Come on, Barrel. Did you miss the 205 encounter? No, this was 205. Um. Oh, you know what? Turtwig should evolve too here. Uh, I don't really want to carry around a Gyarados. It's kind of lame, isn't it? You just streamed as soon as I made a meal? Awesome. Have you done the one thing everyone's talking about yet in the PLA post game? Is it the... No, no, I haven't. I think I know what you're talking about. Just as a reminder, we're using rare candies here so that we can cut out on grinding. Um, and we're also doing it to avoid EVs, I guess, or something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, we don't need rollout ever. All right, let's evolve Tortellini here. Um, Bite. I feel like Bite is good for this now, yeah? Am I doing EV less? No, but I am doing it where, like, it doesn't, like, EVs. I'm just rare candying so that, like, it slowly kind of prevents EVs, you know? Last time I checked, EVs are not removed, no. You can have patches, I think, where they do, but I haven't removed the EVs. Bulldoze. Oh, hell yeah. What's wrong with EVs? Why don't you want them? I don't care about them. Some people do it because people like to um, be really hardo for kind of no reason, honestly. We're going to get rid of Razor Leaf for Bulldoze, I think. Um, the EVs make, th make it easier. So I guess if you wanted a harder hack, you could do it without EVs. All right. This isn't ground type already, is it? I don't think so. Nice. Um, okay. I don't think any of the opposing trainers in this game have EVs also correct. Apparently, I, I learned this by reading something from Drayano. You can't make um, these early game hacks, like unless you have a really complicated hack, like Radical Red, most of them you can't add EVs to random trainers. There's like no option to do it, so. Um, no. What is the rule set for this run? Exclamation mark. Rules will give you the rules, but it's just standard hardcore Nuzlocke rules. So this game is easier than BDSP Elite 4? I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Who knows, man? EVs can go a few ways, TBH. They can all allow you to kind of strong arm through some battles, and they're also just a bit tedious to manage. Yeah, I mean, again, I think it just sort of depends on how you want to play. Well, let's see. Whoa. Eight. Magnitude eight. Mangitude eight. Wow. Okay. Um, What does this girl have? Chica. Hmm, that's annoying. Uh, man, we're, we're kind of slow, ain't we? <laughs> Look at how little damage that did. That's amazing. Embryon. Kind of good. Is spoiling allowed? Um, I mean, I, I've got... 
I've got docs, so there's not much you can spoil. What I don't want is people being like, hey, this is exactly how you should play the game. Like, you know? So outside of that, do whatever you want. Um, what does this person have? All right, B-Barrel. Go nuts. A palm. Uh, headbutt. Aqua jet. Headbutt. Aqua jet. Headbutt. Not aqua jet. Cool. Uh, what's up here? Ooh. Orin berry. Petcha berry. Destiny's not. What do you? Ooh. What do you have? Uh huh. Okay. Well. Uh, Tortellini. Yikes. Oh, wait. Pshhh. Oh, do it again. Bye. Bye. Uh, Mega Drain? No, I think Bullet Seed is still better here. Yeah. Okay, cool. What started the hat donation trend? It's not a donation. It's just you, you can use the, uh, uh, trap points. It's just a way to have people be in charge of me. Make me a puppet, you know? You also get Seed Bomb? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, this thing is pure water. Headbutt. Headbutt. Water Pulse. Wow, we outspeed that Onyx. That's that's pathetic. Uh, Bee Barrel. Kind of kind of popping off over here. Let's try Sriracha. I don't know. Also get Seed Bomb. And we don't care what this is. All right. There's no holding me back. Uh, no counter. Revenge could be kind of scary, I guess. Uh, so let's go dumpling here. Ow. Um. A repel. A rep at all. Are you going to make the YouTube video on this or just play it on stream? No, so um, there'll always be YouTube videos at some point. I don't totally know how I'm going to make this into a main channel video because it's kind of intensive. I guess we'll kind of have to see what makes sense after the video has kind of turned out, you know? But we'll see. Ooh, bye. That was kind of scary. Chimchar? This girl has a chimchar? Um, question, what is a sriracha? Sriracha is like a spicy Mexican sauce. That was a cute amount of damage. Die, Chimchar. VOD on YouTube would work, no edits. I mean, I have VODs, so I do that. Maybe a multi-part video, like the dark type run. Yeah, uh, we'll see how many attempts it takes. Like if it... Um, like if I wipe a bunch, maybe it's like multiple attempts per run or just doing a video on the last attempt or something like that. I don't know. Eedrill. Ugh, spooky. What's in here? I know you do. I binged those in the weekend. Cool, cool. Do all the enemy Pokemon have standard level up movesets? No, I don't think so. I think, well, actually, that's a good question. I have no idea. All right. Ace Trainer Cheryl here. She's got Drifloon, Makuhita, Whalemer, Chansey. So Drifloon is modest and has Unburden. So we probably want to kill this ASAP. Though, uh, yeah, this guy doesn't completely handle Drifloon. Makuhita's got Brick Break and Bullet Punch and Fake Out and Knock Off. Um, knock Off's kind of scary. Is Knock Off buffed in this game? Probably. Yeah. Um, okay. So, how do we deal with the Makuhita? Uh, not with this team, that's for sure. Ooh, nice. It would be really cool to see a compilation of all your wipes if you end up wiping a lot. Love to hear you commentate over that. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's going to be a long time for that. Um, but you can always check out the highlights. The highlights will probably for this will come out in like the next week or so. Um, oh, psh. we have Gyarados that can just wall the Makuhito. Also, I mean, so can Zubat here. And Drifloon, actually. Drifloon can wall. Oh, no, never mind. It's got knockoff. Okay, so Whalemur has Water Pulse, Rock Tombi, Mist, and Rollout. So for that, uh, we don't have an Electric type. But we do have Roselia. Roselia is pretty good. Hell, I mean, we even technically have Mushroom Man. Chansey's got Hyper Voice, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt. Holy shit. Um... But I mean, Sriracha probably kills him. And it's got the Serene Grace, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt. So we got to watch out for that. But this guy actually has pretty good Spadef, right? Yeah. I mean, it is a chance. It can't hit that hard. Also, we got Umbreon with Bite. Um, all right, so let's bring Gera. Gera is pretty good. Shroom is probably good, but we can't get Breloom yet unless we get close to the level cap. But I don't want to get too above the level cap, you know? Um, the barrel. The barrel, are you useful at all? Not really, buddy. All right, switch that. Um, what about Beldum? Not really. Um, so Umbreon kills Beldum, or Umbreon kills Drifloon. Then presumably Makuhita comes out. It either fakes out or uses Brick Break. And we switch to Chicken, and then we just use uh, Bounce. Uh, why does Roselia look so pale? I know, it does kind of look like she's like some really dried up lettuce in the uh, icon here. Um... Machamp, does Machoke have decent spadef? No, guess not. Um, do 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 do, do 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 do. You are fine against Mush. Uh, against. Chansey. So I want to keep you. And I imagine you don't die to a single hit anyways. Um, you're not super useful. I mean, I guess you got Yuan. Katzinabag. Katzinabag. Thank you for the gifted sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bayleaf could be good. Yeah. Um, Tortellini could be, is really good here into Whalmer and the Chansey, I think. Um... I mean, it's really good into anything except the Drifloon. So then, the Whalmer. So I don't think Chingling is particularly good here, although he is pretty nice to have just in case. Doesn't the Chansey have Ice Beam? Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, you're right. It does have Ice Beam, so we'll need to be careful there. But we could, like, pivot him and then go to Sriracha and then kill. I'd imagine that a single Rock Smash kills... Um, so the question is actually Beldum Beldum is pretty bulky oh this thing is really bulky Belkum is pretty bulky Blech. Beldum is pretty bulky so we can always switch in on anything that Chansey does and hit him with Beldum, like with an Iron Head, and that should just one shot since it's a Chansey. You did some running sports in high school or something, right? Are you a sports interested person watching the Olympics? I am watching the Olympics, yeah. I'm a sports interested person. That's a funny way of saying it. <laughs> I'm sports interested. Um, I 
So we just, we really just want to make sure that we don't accidentally get fucked by like a lot of um, Saren Grace effects. Oh, there's a Ren Plat damage calculator. That's useful. Wow, look at that. Okay, good to know that that exists. I love Olympic speedwalking. <laughs> uh, I can't say I do, but to each their own. All right, I think this is fine. Um, do we want this guy? Nah. Zenith, thank you for the gifted sub. And let's just bring... I think we can bring, I think we can bring Pear, Evolve Pear. Does Pear get Leech Seed? I can't remember. Actually, Roselia gets Leech Seed. So does Shroomish. I kind of like Yawn on this guy too, though. Actually, this is, this is pretty good just for uh, Yawning Chansey, yeah. Finneon died. Yeah, Finneon did die. Derp. Dot, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Was it fairy type, by the way? Uh, no, it was not. Oh, whoa. Wasn't expecting that. That's cool. Didn't realize it evolved. Wow. Okay, we're we're fine. <laughs> look at look at our disgusting Pokemon. Um, do do do. What do you got? You got Quick Claw. Why don't we give you the Quick Claw? Why don't we give you? Oops. Leftovers, Muscle Band, Charcoal, Expert Belt. No, no, no. And you also have a Miracle Seed, right? Um, you know, We don't ever need an Expert Belt on you. Although I guess for Makuhita it might be kind of nice. That's fine. Um, sure. Charcoal, lefties. That's fine. All right, let's do it. I thought I was stupid by telling a pro Nuzlocke or Beldum can evolve. I would recommend to keep Matang alive at all costs. It can solo Gardenia's Roserade. Cool. I was going to kill it, but thanks for the advice. Let's go up. Okay, Cheryl. What do you got for me, Cheryl? Okay. Hey lady. Hello, my name's Cheryl. And you are? Oh, okay, so your name is Mati. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Mati, are you a strong strainer? It's kind of savage that she doesn't ask. Alright, Drifloon. Ominous Wind, Air Cutter, Shockwave, Swift. Um, it's probably pretty fast. I don't think this kills. You know what would be cool? If they made Bite... Um, <laughs> nice. Wait. Allegedly, this is supposed to have a citrus berry, but I guess not. Um, it would be cool if they made this, if they made it so that bite was like pluck or bug bite, you know? Is this blind? It is not, no. Makuhita. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, it may have actually been better to take the item off of Giarados. So that uh, knockoff does less, but this is gonna do nothing. It's a Makuhita, yeah. All right. And we don't miss. Good job, chicken. It'd be cool if Gyarados could learn fly. Nice. Um, Chansey. Okay, so Chansey is going to use Thunderbolt here. 
So, um... What's the, the last thing? Whalmer? Oh man, I actually meant to put some berries on some of these guys. Alright, well, um... Whalmer is fine with Matank, so actually let's just go here into Jawbreaker and see how much this does. Sakren, thank you for the gifted sub, I really appreciate it. Underbolt, it's a strong move. Okay, 12 damage, easy. It is faster. All right, no Saren Grace flinch, and this should one shot, right? Oh, let me go to the bathroom real quick. Be, oh, really? Wow. Okay, okay, that's fine. Let's avoid para one more time. I love watching your YouTube videos. Thank you, yo, it's Steve. Wow. Pretty unlucky Saren Grace Chansey, but I guess Thunderbolt para is what, 10%? So 20%, 80% times 80% times 80% to not get para in three, so that's... 64 and then that's about a 50% chance. Okay, that's fine. Um, Tortellini, here we go. Watch this confuse though. Yeah. Shocker. Shocker there. Um, that's okay, we'll just bullet seed it. I'm enjoying watching you on Twitch, too. It's a totally different pace than YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate it. What do you think of Legends Arceus? I liked it a lot. I'm still playing it. The last two nights I've played it before going to bed, and I've gone to bed late because of it. <laughs> I see Monkey on team. What's up, El Natu? How you doing, man? Man, Tortellini. Just absolutely crushing it. Good job, Tortellini. I'm very proud of you, buddy. Very, very proud. Easy peasy. All right. Nice. Ah, marvelous. Marty, may I ask a big favor of you? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. From that battle we just had, I can see you're a strong trainer. Yeah. Okay. Cheryl decided to go with me. I'm gonna drink some Coke. Congratulations. Okay, so, um... Let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here in the old... Thank you, Nidhajer. I appreciate the sub. Thank you so much for two months. Thank you. Repel, by the way. Oh, so that Cheryl doesn't kill my encounter. That makes sense, yeah. So I could get Baneri, Shroomish, Paris, Slackoth, Ninkata, or Talo. Guts Talo? Guts Swellow? Question mark? Um, or at night... 10% Mischievous and 10% Murkrow instead of that pear ass. Um, I could just kill her, Chansey. I could. But we can, we can, we can, we can, we can repel here. All right. His voice suits radio for sure. I hate the sound of my own voice. Where are we going? Okay. Antidote, nice. Uh, ooh, a moss rock. Moss rock, cool, that's useless now. Uh, looks like we can skip this. Is it worth doing with, uh, your voice is soothing? Thank you. Um. I mean, can, if we can just skip all these people, there's no point, right? We can just move along. Banshee-shees. Thank you for the follow. And Tin Pot the Bad, thank you for the follow. My voice is soothing and it helps improve your English. Oh, that's nice to hear. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna do a two v one on this. I'm not trusting Chansey to carry her weight here. Although maybe I should. Now nah, they're level sixteen. We can just kill them. Slowpoke, execute, Natu, Spoink, Drowsy, Baltoy. Sounds like somebody's honkering for a bite, huh? You want to do some nom noms? 
You have bite, right? Yeah, yeah. Nom noms it is. Oh. What is the name theme? It's food. Exclamation mark nickname theme or exclamation mark name theme or both of them or whatever. Um, you know, thank you. Your voice helps me sleep. Aw. That can, like, sometimes it kind of feels like a backhanded compliment. Because it's like when people are like, oh my god, I love falling asleep to your videos. It's like, okay, well. It's kind of sad that you fall asleep during my videos instead of watching them. But I think I, I think it's meant as a compliment. Flag on helping with English, RIP due to things like Strugil Bugil and Lapra. Yeah, true, good point. Does this thing have explosion or whatever? Um Is Explosion still really buffed in this game? Like, or did they fix it where it's not, like, it doesn't drop defense? I rewatch in the morning when I wake up. Is that better? <laughs> I mean, you do you. A, a, a view is a view, regardless of whether you fall asleep or not. Uh, not to. Okay. Your videos are great for surgery when anesthesia isn't enough. Damn, savage. Netball. Okay. I should probably do my homework, TBH. Probably. Uh, let's let's get out of here. Let's mosey on out of here. Oh man, so close, so close. I have trouble falling asleep, and your videos help with it. I didn't want to say anything because you could take it the wrong way. <laughs> nah, it's I I appreciate it. Whoa, you can just go straight into the house. Nice. All right, Cheryl, leave me alone. I don't, I don't care about you anymore. All right, so let's check and double check and make sure that when you walk into Eterna City, nothing terrible happens. Okay, yours appears to be not an issue. Great. You can get Rotom. Your voice is really soothing. Wow. Your scripting and editing of the YouTube runs are so good. Thank you. All right, bye, lady. Uh, cool. Do you give me something? A big tree? I just put some videos or VODs. I just put some VODs or already watched videos and end up falling asleep. <laughs> Rotom would require repels or whatever to stop Ghastlies. We'll look into it. I, I don't really want a Rotom. Water stone, cool. For the star you we didn't get, cool. Okay. The Christmas special voice over is better than any sleeping pills I've tried. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eterna City. What can we get in Eterna City? Is there any encounters or is it just fishing? I can get Poliwag, uh, I can get Poliwag or Dratini, or maybe I can hold off and get, maybe try for Poliwag later and guarantee Dratini. Hmm? Is there an egg still in this one? That's a good question. I don't know. Oh, Togepi egg from Cynthia? Yeah, but you can technically hatch that wherever, right? Uh, what do you want? Bud. Oh, it's Cyrus. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Okay. Cycle Shop is its own encounter area in this game, so you can hatch the egg there. Did he do that on purpose? That's super chill. Shit. Mm. Oh, thanks. Okay. What's this? Is this still TM Thief? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh, what's over here? What's in here? Hello, old sir. 
Hello, small child. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I just started my homework and it's like 90 questions. Sucks. You know what you should do? You should be an adult and not have homework. Okay, let's go here. Just kidding. Then you have to do like worse stuff than homework. Don't do that. It's, it's a trap. Okay. Um. So I think they give us like a shitload of fossils here. But, um, oh, thank you. Dig. Cool. But we can't revive them because we already got our uh, Beldum, unfortunately. The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building. That's a lot of bikes, buddy. Okay. Maybe this guy? Okay. No. What about this old guy? Somebody around here gives me one of those upgrades. Okay, he's not in here. Wow. Can I just go in here? Uh, darn it. Went to 216. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So I did read about this in the post that Dreano did. So apparently you have to go to Route 216 first. So you can get ice types, which is kind of cool. Is this the nickname? -er? Yeah. Anybody else in here? Anybody else do anything interesting? A Snorunt. Want to trade it for my Chatot? Uh, that'd be kind of cool, but no. Buddy. Buddy. Ugh. Okay. Thanks for that. Oops. Uh, oh. TM Recycle. Not super useful, but maybe for some weird random strats. I don't know. What about you? Uh, meh. Meh. You getting the guaranteed Faba? I don't know. Isn't the, mune, uh, the museum separate? Oh, it is? I, I feel like this is starting to get a little too easy. Like, maybe I shouldn't have even hatched the egg. I guess you already have a flying type, but Gyarados doesn't really have any flying type moves. So you can... You can get... You can get the Orber, you, so you can get a fossil from the museum, and that's a completely separate fo a game, excuse me, a completely separate spot than Orber City. Apparently. I mean, we can try. Guess there's no downside, right? All right, let's go get those fossils. Yeah, yeah, why not? Wow, you're getting a crap load of them, cool, too. Cool. Okay, I don't really know which one I want, but we'll think about it. Maybe we'll just hold off for now um, until we need one of them, you know? Okay, so we can get a new encounter there. But let's go back and get the Eterna City, I mean, excuse me, the Eterna Forest encounter. Battle Armor, Almaldo, that does sound pretty good. Uh, Lyleep is pretty good, too. Alright, um... I mean, it'd be cool to get Mischievous here, so maybe maybe I change this to nighttime. I don't feel like doing that, though, so we'll, we'll just... This is fine. We kind of got to be careful about, like, Baneeria with Return, yeah? All right, let's let's see what we got here. Yeah, so this does no frustration. Okay. 
Eh. If it crits, it crits, you know? Oh, we do have a Drifloon, huh? I guess I could go to Matang. Or I could have I could have gotten a Aaron, yeah. Normal fighting type low punny. Ooh, that's cool. I wonder if it still has shit abilities. No, it's got limber and runaway. Okay. Oh, and low punny is scrappy and cute charm? Hell yeah. Um I think we just throw a Pokeball at this. One ball HG strikes again. Oh, low punny gets, damn, gets 30 additional attack stats. Damn. All right, um, what do we name in this thing? What kind of food is this? I like peeps. Peeps makes sense. Cool. Uh, let's go check out, uh, let's go check out Peeps. What's up, Peeps? How you doing, buddy? Cotton candy? Cotton candy doesn't fit, people. Stop suggesting it. Uh, low punny. Peeps has got hasty. Eh. Could be worse. Limber. Eh. Could be better. Oh, wait, but no, that's going to change into Scrappy. Yeah? Yeah. That's going to change into Scrappy. Sweet. Okay, so we can evolve that thing instantly with a little bit of uh, magic. Hasty is decent. This thing is fast. Yeah, but like, if something's fast, you don't really need more fast, you know? So it would be nice to not have minus defense. But, anyways. Um, let's go look at the old Chateau. Oh, so to get Rotom, I have to do the, um, fancy thing. Talk to the TV in one of the rooms at the back of the old chateau. Okay, it could be level 20. Can I even deal with a level 20 Rotom? Rotom. What? Why is Rotom not in this, uh... Oh, it is. Okay. Oh my god, it's got... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Rotom fan has a new ability? That's cool. At 20, it's got Uproar, Ominous Wind, Double Team, and Shockwave. Ursaluna would be decent. <laughs> um... You know what would be decent? Chansey. It's got a new ability. It's uh, Motor Drive. So do I really want Rotom here? Is Rotom that good? I mean, but Barrel's pro- Oh, wait, never mind. It's got Shockwave. What am I talking about? Um, I can get Static Gengar. I mean, I don't want Gengar either. I mean, I guess it's pretty good, but... Rotom did get an attack boost. I mean, a spadef boost. No, it got a speed boost. Okay. Yeah, 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 we'll get it. It's two immunities. Three immunities. Um... Just trying to think, what's the best way to not wipe to a Rotom? 
if it accidentally gets a boost. I guess we could evolve Miniri, yeah? Um, and actually, actually Umbreon walls it fine too. This guy doesn't though, that's for damn sure. Giardos, not super useful. Um, where are our Spadef tanks? I mean him, but you a Spadef tank? Not really. When do we get shiny stones? You know? Could use some shiny stones. Here, we'll evolve you. Alright. Uh, this is fine. Actually, can you learn sleep powder? Let's bring Roselia too. Well, the, the Omnibus or the... Uh, uh, 95 special attack is a lot. Um... We don't have anybody better to, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Come on, Roselia. Off you go. Yeet, yeet. Okay. Worst case, we just run away from it, right? Um, or kill it. So let's, so I'm going to let you viewers decide. Shall I run around in circles for five minutes to max out my friendship with this Boniri, or should I use PK hacks? Yeah, that's what I thought. Some people actually want to see me run? Why? All right. Um, party box. Party boxes in the house. Let's look at this guy. Damn. Well, but damn. Just curious. Okay. Eh. It's actually, that's actually fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, nothing's nothing's blowing my mind here, guys. These are all pretty average EVs or IVs. That's that's a really good Zubat. Wait, so that we get Crobat easy. Um, oops, I forgot to set it. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, man, all of these have trash EVs. I mean, some of them are okay. That's pretty good. That's really good. Okay. Man, Steven gave me like a dog shit belt of zero attack. Come on, man. Come on, Steven. I might sound dumb, but is that what PK Hex is? You can basically change anything in an emulated game. Uh, Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be an emulated game. You can change it on any ROM and then you can whatever, but yeah. Essentially, that's what you can do. Yeah, you can change the save file in, in a lot of different ways. It's super nice for cutting out really intensive stuff that is like optimal playing strategies, but takes forever. It's It helps a lot with certain, especially on streaming, because like nobody wants to sit around and wait for stuff, you know? Okay. Okay. This isn't an emulated game. Oh, true. Yeah, no, I said, I said. My my DS has a really good way to interact with PK Hex, you know? Zero attack IV Metagross. <laughs> I might be weird for this, but I kind of enjoy the grinding sometimes. I just sit there and grind while watching YouTube or Twitch. Yeah, sometimes it's nice. When you're trying to make a video in a week, it's not super nice. Um, sometimes I still do it, though. Sort of depends. Um, all right. And it's also not nice for streaming, you know? 
Magical Leaf. That's magical. Um, hmm. I mean, both of these are... All of these are great moves. Will I post this run on YouTube? Yes. Um... Aw, oh, man. Growth is really nice, though, for setup strats. And Mega Drain. I get Giga anyways. I guess we can replace Mega Drain. That seems kind of stupid. What's up, Pokemaster? How you doing? Oh, that reminds me. Um, if you are interested, if you are a regular in chat and you're... Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Lopunny. Forgot about that. If you're interested in um, being a mod, I'm, I've am i opened up the mod applications again for people who are interested. Exclamation mark mod will um, give you the mod application form. Um, I'm really looking for people specifically who are going to be in chat around this time. Uh, like the two to seven, because a lot of my mods don't have, aren't able to do that right now. Uh, well, we don't need frustration anymore. Uh, we missed return, but that's okay. Fake out? It learns fake out in this game? Okay, I don't think we ever need endure here. I'm working right now, so can lurk at most. Yeah, exactly. Return as a TM. Is it in this game? Because I don't have it yet. Uh, all right, Pear. Evolve. I have a, hi, Pear. Grass Weasley. Um, no. No, right? I mean, I guess it's better than Razor Leaf. We don't ever need Razor Leaf. Cheryl just gave it to me. Oh, would you look at that? Am I loving the hack? I am. It's really fun. There's so many different like things to do. Reflect. Yep, that's 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 good. Fuck grass whistle. HM, where can you find it? Ooh, light screen as well. Um Sure. Alright. Um Ron Weasley and his big brother Grass Weasley. <laughs> uh, look at that, I did get return. Nice. Uh, okay, well, here you go, peeps. Uh, I don't think Queek Attack's that useful. The question is, do I want this for anything with... Nah, nah, we don't need Foresight. Let's not... There's so many Pokemon we can use. Oh, yeah, I do have Scrappy. <laughs> right? Fuck, yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, Brick Break? I'm assuming it can learn Brick Break, yeah? What? Lame. Ah, nuts. What about Aerial Ace? Anybody learn Aerial Ace? Man, this thing can't learn jack shit. Probably learned Captivate. All right. Nice. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to... I meant to do this off stream. I apologize, but I'm going to do it now because it's been bothering me. I want to change the... Um, how do you do that? Is it display method? How do I change the thing that pops up? Does anybody know? Uh, the, this thing. I, I can't remember. What's up, Cleve? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Is it configure? Emulation settings, maybe? No configure I know there's a way to turn it off to 
tools. Man, maybe I'll have to do it later since I can't find it super quick. If anybody knows, now would be a great time to do that once in a blue moon thing where chat is useful, you know? Uh huh. Under view, then hood. No, that just shows random stuff like that. All of that is off offset. Um. Damn, damn. I thought it was gonna be really obvious where where it is. Wait, maybe maybe if I go to hotkeys, view hood hood editing mode. And I click that, nothing happened. Well, that's, that's certainly not it. What was that? Oh, drag the yellow boxes. I can get rid of it. Oh, well, I don't care about that. Wait. These aren't anything anyways. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Where can you catch trap pinch? Um, there's only one other place. So confused on what's going on. Same. I'm basically trying to get rid of the thing that happens when, uh, or like, I don't know. It's confusing to explain. But when I when I change the target FPS and the state, I don't want that stuff to pop up. And I know for a fact there's a way to take it off because I've seen it. I just can't remember where it is. Um, I don't know. Whatever. I found something. Viewer HUD font will let you change the size by picking a different font. I guess that's better than nothing. Yeah, it's definitely how I set it up. Okay, we can do that for now, and then I'll just look into it. Set font. Can you just set it to none? Okay, that's at least a little less annoying. What emulator is it? It's Desmoomy. We'll 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 break the illusion for now. But that's fine, at least we got this. Search for target FPS up to percent to off in the EXE with a hex editor and replace it. Okay, wh whatever. I'll fucking figure it out later. This is fine for now. I just, I meant to do it. I just got busy. All right, let's do it. Um, does Mubi is just coincidentally what he named his super special DS? Yeah, that's true. All right. Call a young relative that is good with computers? True. Wait, wait. What level are these ghastlies? 15 to 18, so Chicopee is fine here. Um, you do have sleep powder, right? Yeah, so I think it's, it's fine. Wait, I only have Pokeballs right now. Hold on, let's not, let's, let's slow down here. Let's go get some grape balls. 
At least, at the very least, God forbid. Son of a... Okay, um... Uh, okay. I could change the date, but that messes up with my computer. I don't like doing it, and then it makes me have to, like... It, it's really hard to close out of the stream when you change the date. So, yep, dive balls it is. Here we go. In dive balls we trust. Um, you think a bite kills it? I think we just put it to sleep. Get it with a Medjadrain or a Magical Leaf. That's probably fine. Uh, whatever, we'll figure it out. It's fine. All right. Is it a nest ball? Nah, it's a net ball. That is much less annoying, that uh, that the stuff that comes up. Did I not just put a repel on? What the shit? Okay. Does Umbreon have good attack? Kinda. I don't know. Um, so it's, I believe it's like one of these rooms. There it is. Okay. All right. Here we go. Chateau is like baguette. It's just a French word used in other languages. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. Kenzie Stacks, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. Oh, and Trex, I missed a sub earlier because I was balls deep in figuring out how to change the font. But I appreciate it, Trent. Thank you. Or Trex. Want to thump the TV? Rotom pissed. All right. Sleep. Oh, I see how it's going to be, Rotom. You know, we could have gotten more Pokeballs, I guess, would have been a somewhat smart thing to do, but it doesn't even matter. Chickpea is a god. Um, I don't think, I don't think a magical leaf kills this, and we have magical leaf. Good thing we got that. Maybe it does. I don't know. Like, a crit shouldn't kill, right? Yeah, crit didn't kill, but now a crit will kill, so, um, let's just throw some pokeballs. Does this count as a cave, by any chance? Doesn't matter. One ball HG strikes again. I've caught every single one of these Pokemon in this game with a single ball. Nice. Uh, what kind of food is Rotom? TV dinner? Its electric-like body can enter some kinds of machines and take control in order to make mischief. M&Ms? Carrot? <laughs> Popcorn? Instant ramen. Wall outlet. <laughs> Those aren't things, I'm not, the theme isn't things that you lick with your tongue. It's things that you eat. You don't eat wall outlets. Egg, cereal, frozen pizza. I don't like any of these. Shock tart is funny if we were doing puns, but we ain't. Um, Pop rocks. Oh, pop rocks makes sense. Is Pop Rocks a one word? No, it's two words. Perfect. Oops, almost named it Pop R. Pop Rocks. Man, now I want some Pop Rocks. All right. Uh, grape. Now what? Um. All right, now we can just explore a little bit. I'm sure there's some useful items in here, yeah? Like, what's over there? An old gâteau. What is an old gâteau? Uh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Substitute. Hell yeah. It's all over for you suckers. Flag on HG just got his substitute TM. Nothing in here. A 
another old gatue. And what's in the, the main room? Oh, hello. Okay, so he made it into an insane asylum. That's that's a choice. Okay. Uh, what about this crazy person? <laughs> that's really funny. Spell tag. Okay. Um... Substitute breaks the game. Like, because it's easy? Alright. Um, lovely. We got Rotom. The AI is woeful with substitute. Good point. Isn't both types of breaking the game figurative? It doesn't literally break the game. It causes it to crash, right? It doesn't like... Uh, let's go look at Pop Rocks here real quick. Careful. That's ass. Um, okay. That's fine, though. It literally splits the game in half. Okay, um, let's go to here. 211, Route 211. Um, Route 211 West, Meditite, Machop, Swablu, Teddy Ursa, Natu, and Chingling. So it's either Meditite, Swablu, Teddy Ursa, or Natu. Those are all fine. Um... Oh, but there's Bagon potential in Route 211 East. Can I get to that right now? Mount Cornet tunnel to Route 211 East entrance. Geodude, Bronze or Clefairy nose pass. Chingling, Zubat, Beldum, Solrock, Lunatone. Interesting. Mount Cornet, B1. These are all pretty much... Oh, you can get Feebas 100% in Mount Cornet. Should I get... Should I get Feebas? Probably, right? Yeah, alright. Feebas it is. Uh, okay. Milo is insane. All right. Let's do, let's do, let's do this then. Um, all right. Let's go get some rep L's and then mosey on. It's pronounced Phoebus. Don't think it is. Okay. Um, wait, we don't. Probably do want some more Pokeballs, huh? Yeah. Nuzlocks rarely have Milotics. That's true. That's a good point. That is cool about this game that it seems like you can get a lot of really cool Pokemon. Man, should have made Repels cheaper. Altaria is a cute, fluffy cloud. Salamence is a thing. Moonblast Milo. It's pronounced Feb Ass. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. Um, so let's repel here, lest we get big on. Or so we get big on. Hey, there's a great ball. That, nice. Okay, oh, Bagon is really hard to catch. Also, what does this guy have? What does this joker have, huh? Whatever. We'll see. Come at me. If you can't handle me at my Geo Dude, you can't handle me at my Geo Bro. 
Uh, it's a slugma. Beldum, huh? Um, okay, well. So good. So good. Okay. Uh, what does this lady have? She's an ace trainer, so we might want to watch out for that, yeah. Oh no, it's a bird keeper. She got a Natu, a Swablu, and a Staravia. Well, can't say my team's super well equipped to handle that. So maybe we hold off on that for a hot second. Uh, Moonstone. Cool. Rock Polish. Also cool. It's over here. Ooh. Wait. Where the hell am I? Uh... <laughs> it's pretty casual. Okay. Modest Charmeleon about to go off. Okay. What's in here? Rare candy. Alright. Um. So presumably these people like are easier to fight now. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're level 20s and 22s. Okay, oh, that guy. That freaking asshole has a Heracross. Um, kind of scary. So let's try to not accidentally run into him. Firestone, that's cool. Is that guy going to not let me pass? <laughs> okay, um... So the question is here... Is Bagon even worth trying to get now that I think about it? Because it probably has Dragon Rage, and we probably don't have an easy way to catch it because it has a really low catch rate. But then again, one ball HG. Bagon's never met one ball HG. Why are you doing this? Oh, is it? Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, it does not. It does not know it. So, uh, Route 211. Meditite, Machop, Swablu, Teddy Ursa, Natu. Excited to be here. Bagon. 18 to 19. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to keep Roselia in here, I think. Yeah. All right. Can you even get more than 995? I don't know. Oh, and the hype man. Thank you for the five months. I really appreciate it. Excited to be here. Thank you. All right. Um... I mean, I could, I could do Turtwig. No, because we probably want to just put it to sleep as quickly as possible. Bagon does know Ember. Yeah, but it's a Bagon. Uh, fine. I guess we will lead Umbreon. Eh, okay. Cool. We're swimming in fairies, at least. Cloud Nine and Natural Cure. Interesting. It does have Disarming Voice, but it's a freaking Swablu, so I think we're okay here. Um, I don't think Covet kills. Maybe Covet kills. A crit might kill. Oh. Doesn't even look like a crit kills from this, but I guess we'll find out, huh? Nice. Okay. One ball HG coming up. 
Nie. All right. Um, what are what kind of food is this? Do not suggest cotton candy. Oh my god, guys! Cotton candy doesn't fit. Did they change catch rates? I don't know. Marshmallow. Okay, marshmallow is fine. Let's hope we don't get a uh, thingy. Is it? Wait. Marshmallow doesn't fit either. Son of a. Um. I like cauliflower then. Cauliflower is fine. Who suggested that? The condiment spread. How do you how do you spell cauliflower? C A cauliflower. Wait, cauliflower might not fit either. F L O God damn it. <laughs> oh wait, wait, is it with O U R? No, it's not. Okay. Um. Mayo. Dragon whiskers are actually a food. We can do cheese puff. I kind of like macaroon also. Okay, mayo it is. Welcome to the team, mayo. Maybe we'll actually use you now that Altaria doesn't suck absolute ass. Um, cool. Flag on HG, how about cotton candy? Ooh, good, good suggestion. Uh, okay. Is there anything up there? I don't want to deal with that. That seems scary. Let's go get the Faba. Soft sand? Ooh, so close. Okay. All right, Faba. Um, when does Phoebus evolve? How do we evolve Phoebus? Now able to evolve into Milotic by using a prism scale. Okay, we just gotta find a, a prism scale. Okay, cool. Um, all right, old rod. You're old, but I believe in you, big boy. Tony's Bearded Beauty Channel. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> all right. Now. This is going to be the true test of one ball HG. Wow, Chickpea does not miss. Um. All right. Nye. Nice. Okay, um, what are we doing with Feebas? What are we naming Feebas? I feel like if it's going to evolve into Milotic, shouldn't it be like Unagi or something? Unagi? All right, I got one validation of Unagi. We're doing Unagi. Norwegian shark balls. <laughs> All right, Unagi. Welcome to the team. See you later. Unagi was transferred to the box. Okay, um... What else is there to do here? Nothing? Did I never melt ice? A prison? Well, okay. Cool, we can instantly get my Lodic. Holy shit. Um... Uh-oh. Um... This is why we repel. Okay. Um, actually, low punny should be able to outspeed everything. Ooh, 
Light Clay. Revive. Not useful for us, but that's free money. Uh, full Restore. Wow, lots of like early items here. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? Okay, Max Elixir. Uh huh. Whoops. <laughs> Baton Pass. I feel like we don't need Quick Attack anymore. Uh, there we go. What are you going to pass, HG? I don't know. We'll figure it out. You know? Agility? Who knows? Who freaking knows? Okay, so, wow. We're already in Route 216. This game is magical. Let's, um... Route 216. Snover, Swinub, Smoochum, Snowrunt, and Sneasel. All pretty good encounters, in my opinion. And Deli Bird and Pokey Radar, but let's uh, let's not do that. Um, unless Deli Bird got buffed. You know what? Even if Deli Bird got buffed, I don't care. Trainer Pokemon on 216. So we do have to be a little careful here because these Pokemon are now starting to get pretty powerful. Um, and they will also have ice moves now. So, okay, let's let's just go and catch whatever we get here. Deli Bird is really fast and strong here. I don't believe you. I'm getting something else. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Jinx. Cool. Uh, what does Smoochum have? Ooh, Hydrate or Forewarn? Cool. Uh, this got a little bit more special attack. It's got Fake Out. I don't have a reliable way to hit this for damage. We're gonna kill it if we attack it. So I think it might have to be One Ball HG, yeah? A Pokeball. Damn. Sing? Really? Oh no! Whoops. Uh, what was I even gonna do? I mean, like, I don't have anything good for that. <laughs> oh well. So it goes. So, it's what it's. All right, um, you missed on the snow route. What are you, what are you saying? Yeah, I'm well aware I have to go back there, but uh, maybe it's a good idea to not have four Pokemon that are weak to, like, ice types. I guess three, but still. Okay, let's go over here. Hmm. That was a mistake. Okay, well, no Smoochum, no Jinx, unless we get it again. So I think we want Jawbreaker. Porygon is in this game. Or Porygon. This person has a Porygon and a Vigoroth. 
Actually, this girl has a Togetic and a Swellow. Wow, this stuff is starting to get pretty strong all of a sudden. Quagsire, Quilava, Sudowoodo. Ugh. All right, let's um, let's slow our roll a little bit. We don't need all three of these grass types. In fact, I don't think Roselia is very good anymore for now. Matang is good. Bring my Lodic. Can I evolve my Lodic without screwing any of the moveset? Turns Water Pulse at 15, but that's not useful. Aw, oh, man, we just missed out on Disarming Voice. Okay. All right, we'll bring my we'll bring him. Um, wait, which one of you has more attack or more defense? You. Fifty six, wait, fifty six and forty one, versus Grottle with sixty seven and forty five. Okay, so Grottle is much bulkier. Um. Got Monferno here, I think is fine. We got Scope Lens on him. This is a pretty solid team. Got two fighting types. It's kind of needless, but whatever. Um, a little tall man. Thank you for the sub via Prime. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Prime account to your Twitch account, and then you can subscribe for free. Uh, okay. What do I want here? So this, these ace trainers have Quagsires and shit, and Quilava, Sudowoodo, so we handle all that. Um, I think this team is fine. Maybe we bring Gyarados over. Nah, this team is fine. This team is fine. All right, we're good. Wait, Rotom? We could bring Rotom. Rotom's pretty good. Instead of who, though? Nah, 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 nah. Why is Zubat not named Soup? What is this bat soup stuff? I don't... Is that what... Is that what they ate? Alright, let's, um... Let's get... Alright, welcome to the team, Unagi. Scar MS, thank you for the sub. And Crunch, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for using your Prime subs. I appreciate it. Wow, level 10, Milotic. This game is sick. Cramanon, thank you for the follow. Scar MS, thank you for the follow. Um, all right, all right, all right. So now we can get these guys up to an appropriate level here. Captivate, ooh. Water Pulse? Uh, hmm. It's a toughie. I already made that joke last stream, sorry. Aqua Ring. I like that. Um, I don't think you ever use Tackle. Confuse Ray? Eh. Dragon Breath? Sure. 22. Um, these things are all at like 20 and 22 and stuff, so I think that's fine to get everybody to level 22 here. Jawbreaker, nice. Sriracha, you can be level 22. Um... Anything learn Dragon Claw? Because that's sick. Yeah. Trex, thank you for the... What did you do? 100 bits. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. All right. Off we go. How's this Milotic looking? That's a terrible nature. 
Um, okay. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. We're fine. Tortellini has some nice HP. Ha! <laughs> got him! Because 69? Like the sex thing? Uh, we already got our encounter here. Yeah, it was Swablu. Oop. Why do I keep doing that? Alright. Um. Do 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 do. What is a good nature? Depends on the Pokemon. Um. But for this, modest, bold, timid. Um, or maybe not bold, calm. Let's give you... You got Silk Scarf, buddy? Where's my Silk Scarf? Didn't you say you don't, don't go for puns at the names when naming Rotom. Why is your Torterra called Tortellini? Well, because Tortellini is an actual food. I didn't want to do like puns that sound like feed. Like Tortellini would be the equivalent to naming Rotom, whatever somebody suggested, right? But this Tortellini is an actual type of pasta, which I feel. Scope lens, quick attack, charcoal, lefties. Okay. Uh, we really need a wide lens on this uh, low punny so it doesn't just go crashing into shit can you learn rock smash you can i feel like i kind of want to teach you rock smash instead of jump kick i just don't really touch jump kick trust jump kick uh we don't really need baton pass for anything either so yeah let's just get rid of baton pass for now all right any nature that is attack lowering is good on milo yeah it's a good rule of thumb i wonder what that item is We'll go get it later. Do, 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 do. This is some Ruby and Sapphire music. Yep. Okay. Um, so this girl. Is that a girl? Oh, look at that. God, I'm so good at this game. I don't have to fight any of these people. What is this person? Um, Ace Trainer Garrett, presumably. This doesn't really seem to be in order here. Is this a girl? This looks like a guy. I mean, a girl. This is probably Ace Trainer Laura with Togetic and Swellow. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. How do we deal with that? I guess Iron Head. Okay, this is fine. Unless we can... Darn it. <laughs> All right, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? I'm fully knitted up. Ace Trainer Laura. This girl have some like really good Pokemon. Am I screwed here? So far, so good. So far, so good. Just don't um, explode on me or something. Dead. All right, so I can't imagine this Swellow does anything. Metronome into Sacred Fire. I mean, like, would that even kill, though? It's a Togetic. Maybe it's got Hustle. <laughs> Swellow. So we don't want to want to watch Guts here if it's got like a, a berry, but it, it can't really do any damage to us, yeah? Yeah, yeah. This should two-shot, right? Dude, you are very... Oh, no. Come on. Come on, Jawbreaker. You got this big boy, 44. Oh. It's okay. Eventually, the hail will take it out, yeah? We only really need to hit one more.
wing attack 40 down to 31 so 18 ish we got one or two more oh we hit it nice <laughs> easy good job swallow bye swallow have a nice trip swallow easy okay cool i do want that item though is that easy to get is there do i have to fight anyone for that nope doesn't look like it all right so let's slowly though let's let's heal the matang potions all right uh this is safe Okay. Oh, there's an item over there. I must have it. But first... Uh, he's so much faster than me with his skis. Okay, so Candis is in here. I mean, Gardenia. Cool. Yeah, it would have been nice to have that smoochum for her grass types, huh? Oh, well, uh, I presume we're cut off later, so there's nothing else to do here. Thanks. Um, this is Ace Trainer Garrett. He's got a Mr. Mime, a Nuzleaf, and a Scyther. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to do that, but if I remember correctly, you can kind of just go around. Also, do I have a rappel on? Oh uh, yeah, it's blocked off. Okay. All right. Um, skier, man. Easy. I want that item up there. Is there an easy way to get it? Uh, I did not fight that person. Oh, there's a little piece of it. Oh, wow, that's just, they're just mocking me at that point. Okay. Uh, let's go around. What's up, Ian? How you doing, man? Let's go over here. What is this, ice beam? That'd be cool, ice stone. All right, so that's all the encounters we can have before Gardenia. Do, does a mod want to do a Deathless Gardenia prediction, please? Um, let's roll. Yeah, but if you don't comment, I don't know that, Ian. <laughs> All right, um, off we go. So do we have, hey. I've commented a lot, you just hate me? Well, that's true. Yeah, dude, we should, we should go to PAX East. You should get tickets. I applied for media coverage or whatever. What, um, so this is, I, I wanna know what that item down there is. Um, where, when? It's in like April or something, and it's in Boston. Where is its TM Twant? Well, that's kind of useful. Yeah, I want to kill this person. Let's murder them. What are we doing here? Route 211 West. No, we're, we're on Route 211 East is what we need. No, 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 West is right. Not too Swablu Staravia, all level 30. Um, I mean, our team's still not amazing for that, but we got a Milotic, so I'm not super concerned. Not to water pulse. Not no damage. Dragon. Okay, Aqua Ring. Water pulse. Water pulse. 
Water Pulse. You're running a marathon that weekend? Why? We already did that. Okay. Um, Taunt. Nice. Worth it. Were we at risk to a crit there? Did I just risk that crit? I think that might have been risk to a crit. Wow, whoops. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, um, so we could technically either get... We could get something from Eterna, but I want to leave that because if we get Poliwag from somewhere else, <clears throat> we guarantee Dratini here. If I'm reading this correctly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, trainer Pokemon. All right. What's up, Christina Azarian? How you doing? In most places where you get WAG, if not all, you also get Dratini. Nice to know. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Um, so I think we, we fight all these girls first. Lotad, Cacnea, Execute, Shroomish. So anything with Aerial Ace will kill all of that. Um, what do we have that can learn Aerial Ace? Uh, we don't actually have, like, any flying types. Oh, we got Zubat. Right, right, right. We got Zubat. This is easy. Um. Wow. We got so many good encounters here. Um, yeah, we never need Absorb anymore. What level does it evolve into Golbat? Wing Attack? Well, we just got Aerial Ace, so... I hope this thing learns Brave Bird. That'd be cool. Poison Fang. Frick it, yeah. Oh, 65 damage. Interesting. Um... Confuse Ray. Air Cutter? No. Mean Look? No. Although, that might be interesting because now they switch, don't they? Leech Life? Is that buffed? Nice. Um, I don't think we ever need Confuse Ray, honestly. Okay, it evolves at level 22, which me, crunch. Oh, fuck, yeah. Okay, well, Fantina's quaking in her boots. Um, well, we can go ahead and just click that too and get Crobat. So, yeah, this should be pretty easy. I haven't even looked at the the team, though. And a Breloom with Spore. But we got Crobat. <laughs> it does, Breloom does have Thunder Punch, so we'll need a pivot. Which, we don't have a ground type yet. A ground type would be super nice. Mist. Disarming Voice. Fury Attack. Pluck. Prevent Status, and this prevents Stat Drops. That's actually, like, not... A terrible thing. It's got really good special defense, so might be useful there. Uproar. Um, how much is that? 90 base power? Wow. I don't think we need that, though. I don't want to get stuck in something. They did Crobrat right in this game? Hell yeah. Um, where's the expert belt? Chimeco has the expert belt, right? Okay. 
Reloom gets Aerial Ace. It does. Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, can you... Can you... I guess there's a pretty easy way to check this. But can you do um, Spore moves on Grass types in this game? Like, did they fix that? Is that updated? They're not immune. Okay, so that sucks. Hey, what's up? Dead. 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 Ah! Uh. Wow. Okay. Crobat's kind of sucky. Okay. Reeling doesn't have Aerial Ace in this game or in this fight. Yeah, I know it doesn't have in this fight. I have the docs. Um, I think people were asking if it can learn it. So this person has Weeping Bell, Ivysaur, and Gloom. Okay, again. I mean, Crobat just a monster. Let's just hope we don't kill it on accident. Uh, Aerial Ace. Amazing. Okay. Um, and this person has Roselia, Bayleaf, and Skip Plume. Hello. Kill. Um, this probably won't kill, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. Well, we're at the level cap with Crobat, but that works out. Okay, let's figure out this Gardenia strat. Um, she's got... One sec. All right, so Gardenia, let's see if this works. Yeah, so Gardenia is here. She's got Blossom, Tangela, Cherim, Grodel, Brilum, and Roserade. So Crobat is super chill here. For sure. Um... I mean, I mean, we just outspeed and we're going to hit with so many things. The, the thing we want to watch out for probably is to not just get like confused or paralyzed or something. So if it's possible, well, I don't actually know. Does Crobat kill the Blossom in one shot with 59 attack? Maybe not. Uh, Crobat? We definitely outspeed. No, it doesn't. Not even close. Blossom has really good defense. Damn. Um, okay, so yeah, we don't want to necessarily get paralyzed right off the bat with this guy. We could sub. Yeah, we could sub. I feel like, is sub cheating? I mean, I guess it's not cheating, right? Did you get a fossil? Are you counting that as an Orber counter? Uh, we haven't gotten the fossils yet, no. Um, yeah, sub is not cheating. I, I, I consider that not a cheat. Tangela has ancient power, which is kind of scary, but even that... I mean, I think we can always go... Mm, ancient power and shockwave. That's an interesting move set for Tangela. But Tangela is pretty weak, is it not? Maybe I got buffed in this game. I don't know. This is so cool. This, uh... Yeah, Tangela's got 100 special attacks. So that actually does quite a bit of damage. Um... Can we get Bug Buzz on you? 
All I will... S AI will still go for stats if the player is under sub, making setup extremely easy. Oh, that's kind of lame. Yeah. What's up, Drew? How you doing, man? I would substitute be cheating. Also, why is... Oh. Does Fire Monkey know Flamethrower yet? No, not yet. Um... I mean, if sub just completely trivializes this thing, because there are so many things with status moves in this game, like, it's... It feels fine to cheat, like, the couple games that are in other... Like, in the, the vanilla games, because there's not that many things that will just spam. Well, I don't know. Um... Well, let's, let's, uh, let's see. I mean, I don't even know what I'd set up with, though, you know? Like, I don't really have anything to set up with. But Chingling can... Chingling should come, I think. And Chingling might be able to just do a lot of damage to Blossom. Although, its Spadef is really good. And this Blossom's kind of tough. I guess we could, um... Oh, wait, not the Blossom, the Tangela. I don't think we bring Swablu here. I don't think Swablu's that good. The Grottle has Seed Bomb, Protect, Leech Seed, and Bulldoze. That's interesting. So that just dies super to Crobat. Do we have Roost? Roost would be super nice. Does Crobat get Taunt? Crobat does get Taunt. So actually, we can just Taunt uh, the, the Blossom. Roost is on Route 210. Do we have... We don't have a ground type. That's so annoying. What berries do I have? Not that many. Let's see. Um, I don't think I want to use sub then, because that seems super busted. If we ever have to rely on it, I guess we can, but I think I think it's fine to try at least attempt one without it, you know? Um, I feel like these are, it's going to be some combination of these four. I just don't see anything else that's that's much better. Chickpea, I guess, for the spore switching. Or no, 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 you can still, you can still spore things, right? Yeah. Um, but chickpea is pretty good into Breloom. We can always put it to sleep, I think. And it's got natural cure. Um... Are any of these guys worth taking off? Matang devastates this Roserade. I think. Oh wait, we don't need Grottle. Right? I mean, it's bulky. But I feel like the these ones are all fine. One, two, three, four, five. We we already got a bulky guy here. I feel like this is a good a good six. Um, Drifloon is also actually really good. Now that I think about it, guarantees Thunder Punch from Breloom. I 
Uh, the Cherim has Sunny Day and Weather Ball and Morning Sun. That's a little scary. Um, and Grass Knot. But honestly, I think I think Vaporeon takes that anyways. And honestly, if it sets up... Right, right, sorry. Um... I think this is fine. The one other... I mean, I guess we could bring Shroomish. Which one is it? Is it Poison Heal? It's Technician. Um... Technician, does Shroomish learn Aerial Ace? Or Breloom? So Breloom learns Aerial Ace. That's pretty nice. It does not. Dang it. Um, that'd be super chill. It does learn bulk up, though. <laughs> um, poison heal would be super chill for that. Okay. Um, Gyarados gets Ice Fang. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. All right, so the plan then is... Wait, 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 where's my trainer dogs? So we lead... We lead Crobat. We can taunt it. Taunt the Blossom. Then all it can do is Dazzling Gleam or Grass Knot, both of which will do nothing. We could even give this a Wide Lens. I mean a uh, Leftovers. Give it some bulky support there. Tangle is going to come out, presumably, in either Shockwave or AP, both of which we can switch to Chingling. We can Yawn it. Um, I guess it's kind of scary if the Chingling... No, 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 that's fine. And we Actually, also, we definitely want leftovers on this, and we can keep Expert Belt on that, so that's fine. Cherum, Grass Knot, Sunny Day, Weather Ball, Morning Sun. Um, Monferno handles that pretty well. Rottle, Seed Bomb, Protect, Leech Seed, and Bulldoze. Um, I mean, Crobat just handles that totally fine. I guess the, the Leech Seed is kind of annoying. We got Roselia if we need it. Breloom, Bullet Punch, Mock Punch, Thunder Punch. So, that... That is... Crobat if we can bring it in at the right time. If not, then we probably have to do Matang. So we definitely want to give Matang a Chesto Berry if we have it. Nice, we got one Chesto Berry. Um, lefties, Miracle Seed. So we don't need Miracle Seed on this. We can give this... Um, Where's my shiny stone? What the hell? I mean, we can probably just give this like an orange berry. Or maybe a cherry berry. No, that's fine. Um, And then Chingling, I think we give... And multiple leftovers would be nice. I mean, we could go get more leftovers, I guess. But, um... Quick Claw, Muscle Band, Mystic Water, Silk Scarf. Where's my... Oh, Expert Pelt is on you. Um, alright. We'll just give you an Orin Berry as well. I could do Synchro Spore Strats, yeah. Um, Alright, I like this. I don't know if Roselia is the best person to have here. Why do I want Roselia? Just for some bulk? I actually think that... 
And I mean, we can also even set up screens with pair. Like, honestly, pair might be better here. I think pair is better here. And we can stall out. Roselia with sludge. Oh, it learned sludge. I didn't know that. Uh, the Roselia is really good into Breloom, right? And Tangela, yeah. I forgot it had sludge. Okay, we'll keep you then. All right. How are you choosing when there's multiple gift Pokemon? You pick one, I don't know. Oh, you mean like the starters? Basically, I decide before I get them which one I want so that I can't determine it based on like the natures and the ability and stuff. Otis, Monkey, Stormist, John, Atsandra, Detiv, Reddy, Navalavir. Thank you all for the follows. I appreciate it. Um, okay. Hey, just got done watching your Platinum Randomizer and came from that. Awesome, thanks for being here. How you doing? Fake out. Um, I would teach it that. Well, I have, I have taunt. Fake out's actually super chill here for some free damage. Did you know you can get a Firestone? Yeah, I do have a Firestone. Um, Chris wasn't there. Thank you for the bits. I can't. I can't remove Rock Smash. It's an HM. I mean, I guess I could go and get it, but. Um. The I could I could unlearn it in. Sludge, ooh. Okay, um... Will I edge? No. These are all really good moves. I guess I get rid of growth. What Sun and Moon Challenge will come this Saturday? Pink Pokemon only. You can get growth again later, I guess, once we get to Pastoria, if we really need it. Spikes? Oh shit, man, Roselia's moveset is amazing. Do I get rid of Magical Leaf here? Probably not. I mean, uh, it's fine. It learns Toxic Spikes too. actually super nice especially because i can just easily set those up i think we get rid of sleep powder here honestly or leech seed i mean for this obviously sleep powder is nice but was that done on twitch or alone that was done alone it wasn't on twitch um oh cherim has focus stash i didn't even notice that I don't think I was one shine that. Um, I don't need Magical Leaf here, but then I don't have a Grass move, which is kind of dumb. I, I see what you're saying, like, and then I can replace it with Mega Drain. Uh, what is this Roselia learn? I mean, we don't need Leech Seed here either, for that matter. Giga Drain is 27, so after, right after I evolve. I just don't know if Sleep Powder is ever useful in things that aren't catching Pokemon, to be honest, because it's just so like, such low reliability. And I'll, I'll have Spore pretty soon. So I'm going to get rid of Sleep Powder here. That's fine. Okay. Um, please learn Extra Sensory or Psychic. Nice. Perfect. Okay, just a little bit better than confusion here. I mean, I guess it doesn't confuse, but 
Flinch chance is nice, not that we'll outspeed much here. And then Eclair. Crunch. Um, I think that's better than Bite. I don't want to get rid of Covet yet. Actually, we have Thief now, so... Nah, 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 we don't need Bite. Better than Bite. <laughs> and there you go. And last one is Matang. Pursuit? Wait, what do we know even? Ah, oh, it's better than Takedown. I don't know when we would ever use it, but it's definitely better than Takedown. We have Protect or something? Bullet Punch. Well, that's better than Pursuit. <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, okay. Ah, man. It's kind of hurting my ears. <laughs> like stupid, but whatever. Okay. Um, you know what? Okay, um, expert belt, so we gotta teach this taunt, and we're definitely running low on, like, moves here. Oh, I forgot this has leech life, so poison fang is never really that useful. I mean, we could leave things badly poisoned, which is chill, but honestly... Will you be making this into a YouTube video on your main channel? Yeah, at some point. Um, yeah, well, let's, we'll get rid of that for taunt. Leech life is chill. I totally forgot that we have a way to reliably gain some HP back, especially on like Cherim and stuff. Okay, so taunt. Uh, we got taunt on those two. I don't think we need taunt on anybody else, to be honest. This is fine. So the question though is, do I want to taunt and then switch to Roselia to set up Toxic Spikes? I think I kind of do. Because what can the... I guess the Blossom can Dazzling Gleam? That's not that scary, is it? Um... Yeah, so Blossom's super chill to set up on if we can taunt it. I'm just wondering if it's worth it to switch and do Toxic, but we're going to take a lot of damage because it's still really strong. And Roselia is kind of shit. 51. It's not terrible. It's pretty low HP. But it might be nice to get off uh, Toxic Spikes. It's because, like, where else do I get off Toxic Spikes reliably? The only problem is if it... Oh, no, no, but we have Natural Cure. What is Roselia good for? Roselia is really good for Tangela, so I don't really want to get it too low. I guess I have plus Bidef. Because if I get it too low... Well, Chingling is... Chingling handles us fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I think actually we do. I think we do. We do go this, and then we go to Chickpea. She's got an Orinberry. We try and get off Toxic Spikes. I guess we can panic if something bad happens. All right, let's do it. I could get more leftovers and give one to Roselia. Yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Maybe we will soon. Maybe we'll do... Maybe we'll go get another leftovers later. But I think this is fine for now. All right, here we go. Deathless. Let's try it.
In we go. Okay. I wish Dr. Flagon did sessions where he helps others through their own Nuzlocks. I would definitely pay for slash love that. That'd be fun. All right, Gardenia. Blossom. Um, so I assume it's gonna go for either, I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna go for Stun Spore, so we're going to taunt it. It's like, come here, buddy. Yep. So now it's probably gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. Excuse me, Dazzling Gleam. Um, so we definitely wanna do Chickpea here. How much does this do? Wait, is this fairy type? Oh, that was a crit, so that's fine. Um, toxic spikes. This isn't fairy type, is it? What is this thing called? Blossom. No, it's just grass. Okay, just making sure. Um, so we'll definitely let's get another toxic spikes off. I guess this is kind of stupid because Roserade will eventually come in and just eat this shit. But it shouldn't come in for a little while. Okay. That's okay though. Um so now I, I'm just worried it's gonna teeter dance here. We have natural cure, so it's fine. So the question is, do I sit, stay in? I guess I can always just switch back, yeah, to chickpea, it's fine. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, but it's gonna stun spore on the next turn. Theoretically, eventually it'll miss a stun spore. Hmm. Um, I guess I just stay in here. If I hurt myself in confusion, an Orenberry will activate. That's fine. I could PP stall, yeah. Doesn't matter, Roselli is a boss. Wow. Good job, Roselia. Alright, fine, we're PP stalling. Asshole. Uh, that's three. The problem is if it misses a stun spore, then, like... Now, if it misses a Sun Spore, then I can't stay in. Well, I guess I can. Um, hmm. Dude, okay, um, can somebody time out or boy so daz for about a minute? Don't come back. Or stop being a dick. Let's see. Um, what are we doing here? Cake batter is... Timed out for 10 minutes? That's fine too. I don't care, man. <laughs> Thank you. So, let's see. Um, I mean, it's just gonna it's just gonna teeter dance here. Whatever. We'll just how many how much PP does teeter dance have? Twenty. Ugh. 
How much does sli uh, Stun Spore have? 30. <laughs> um, all right, well. Maybe she'll get bored of using Teeter Dance. I don't know. Joke's on them because IDK had to change timeout duration. Well, this worked out perfectly. Good job. So now we're just going to taunt here and then we're going to gain some HP back with uh, Leech Life. I don't know why she ended up doing that, but that's okay. Joke's on them because IDK had to change timeout duration. <laughs> Weaponized incompetence, baby. Good job, Ian. Note to self, don't be a jerk. Don't know why you need to make that note for yourself. That's just like how you should behave as a human being, but... Ah, damn. Well, that was a waste, then, of toxic spikes. Okay, so this has extra sensory, which is likely what it's going for. So we could go to Umbreon. I don't know why it would do Dazzling here. But honestly, if it's just going for extra sensory, it's kind of fine to just go to into Dar Jawbreaker, yeah? Um, so we could do Umbreon into Jawbreaker, but Dazzling Gleam, that's the same amount of H, that's the same amount of damage anyway, so let's not risk it on Eclair. Let's just do Jawbreaker here. Okay. Actually, Extra Sensory is way less damage on Jawbreaker. Yeah, because it's times four. So, now... I wonder if Double Bullet Punch kills this. Or Iron Head into Bullet Punch, do you think? It's got a Citrus Berry, so probably not. We, it kind of sucks to have to fuck with Zen Headbutt missing, but, like... It just, there's nothing, I don't think this thing can do that much damage to us. I guess we'll see how much this does. 68 down to 46 at 22 damage. We don't miss anyways, I think it's fine. Nice. Citrus is going to activate there. So how much was that? How much is Zen Headbutt? Zen Headbutt is 160 and Iron Head is 80, so we're not going to kill and then it's going to heal if we go in. So I think it makes sense to just risk it here. Don't miss, don't miss. Nice. Okay, awesome. Um, so now we could set up Toxic Spikes, but it's probably not worth it. Cherim, I presume, is coming out for Sunny Day. So it's likely going to do Sunny Day here. I think we just go to Sriracha. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's not going for Sunny Day. But yeah, that does nothing. Um... Oh, sweet. Fake out to break the sub and then just clap it down with the uh, flame wheel. Doesn't look like a flame wheel will actually kill, but that's okay. Well, now it will. <laughs> Was it 46 to 21? Was I risking a crit there? All right, this is fine, though, because now it's going to bring out Grottle. We're going to switch on the Bulldoze. Minus IQ Gardenia. <laughs> That's annoying, but good job, Crobat. Proud of you, Crobat. Um... Okay. Well, fuck you. Uh. So I think if it had hit that, I would have taunted it anyways and then switched to uh, Cherim. I mean, not Cherim. Chimeco and then switched back.
Suck it. Wow, taunt on Crobat? Filthy. Um, yeah, Aerial Ace is fine here. Uh oh, is that going to be growth? Yeah, that is overgrowth. Yeah. Oh, wow, this thing's a little bit of a staller, isn't it, with lefties? Okay. Okay, Gardenia. Really? Okay. Um... Yeah, so we got pretty lucky, I guess, on dodging that Leech Seed, but I think that would have just prolonged the inevitable, so I'm glad it missed. I don't think there's too much that can be done anymore. So it's Tangela now. Um, honestly, this Tangela, like, doesn't necessarily kill us. It does have Stun Spore, which is super annoying, but I think we can just go to Umbreon here. I just don't want it to AP boost. That would really suck. I wonder how much AP does to... It, it can't do much, right? Mm. Do I want to stay in here? Because I don't really want to switch into a stun spore. Probably is dead to crit, yeah. I I'm going to go to Eclair, see if it switches in on a stun spore. Well. Um... Let's, um, I mean, it's probably still going to go for Stun Spore, yeah. Haha, -ha, look who just paralyzed itself, sucker. Um. It's decent damage on an Umbreon. I'm gonna set up a Toxic Spikes here. For the Breloom. I think I do. Just to be safe. The Breloom is not Guts. I don't think Breloom can get Guts. But it does have Technician. It could have poison heal, is might be what you're thinking, but it's not. It's, I mean, according to this doc, at least. I guess that's a little scary, AP boosts here. It's a lot of damage. So a couple AP boosts would be kind of bad. So maybe that was a little stupid, but... Especially because we just one-shot it. Maybe it wasn't stupid if it, we just one-shot it. Let's well, pair it. We'd be fine. Could always switch to Chimeco. Okay, so Breloom here. Um, it's not going to paralyze. I guess I don't exactly know what this is going for then. Like, is it going for Bullet Seed, Mock Punch, or Thunder Punch? I would imagine then Thunder Punch, but if it goes for Mock Punch... But I think we can always go... No. Basically, I want to get Cake Batter in for free, but I don't want it to go for Thunder Punch here. Stay in. I don't. I don't want to. I mean, I guess I. I guess I can just sludge. Like, how much does Thunder Punch do on this? Why would it go for Thunder Punch? I think it will go for Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch is seventy-five. No, it's thirty-seven. 
Mock punch is 40 divided by 2, 20 times stab is 30 plus technician is 45. Yeah, Chickpea's physical defense is really bad, so I'm worried that a crit thunder punch would actually just kill this. Um, I could go into dumpling, but if it gets if it gets bullet seed off, that's really bad. I think I think we can afford a Claire. And also, mm, also like sludge and poison might just kill this. This uses Mac punch, in your opinion? Like, how much does this do to a Roselia? At 26. Uh, Breloom. Yeah, Mach Punch does 34 to 40%. Oh, it's got a Muscle Band, too. Okay, so it should never go for Thunder Punch here. Allegedly. Bullet Seed does 30 to 38. So I, I think it's safe. I think it's safe to go to Cake Batter here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should always go Mock Punch here. So I think this is safe, but we'll see. a crit too so good thing we didn't stay in <laughs> and now we can just i mean assuming this kills i guess i don't know but i would i would imagine it does all right easy peasy we did it a little panicky there wasn't recording but that's okay swift all right Give up on Swift? Yeah. Thank you. That's Gardenia defeated. Yeah, imagine teaching this Swift. <laughs> all right, now we just wait like 40 minutes for this clock to turn all the way around. Um, I'm gonna go take a break for a second, just look away from the screen, and yeah, I'll be back in like five minutes, and then we'll do, uh, or two minutes, and then we'll do Mars, or Jupiter, or whoever. All right. I guess I should probably play ads when I do that, right? Get some free money. All right.
What's the new level cap? Thirty-three. Hell yeah, Torterra incoming. Um. Two badges, thirty-three. All right. Okay, so what are we at now? Oh, now we have to now we have to fight. Um, what's her name? Team Galactic Building. Okay, so Jupiter has a Golbat, a Sableye, another Tangela, and Skuntank. Uh, hmm. Damn, this Skuntank, though. Poison Jab and Night Slash. All right. Okay, well, actually, we definitely get Leyron now, right? So Leyron just... Oh, Night Slash is... It's not... It's not... doesn't take neutral damage from Night Slash. But... That should be okay, right? Um... When does... When does it evolve? Thirty-two is that different in this game by any chance? Now I was at twenty-four. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um. Skun tanks at level twenty-seven, so it's actually not that much harder. Sableye has Fake Out, Shadow Claw, Knock Off, and Shadow Sneak. You know what we need? We need a normal fairy type, huh? Uh, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no, no, we have a flying fairy type. <laughs> Damn. Uh, is this Adamant, really? Wow. Um, Golbat has Wing Attack, Giga Drain, Leech Life, and Confuse Ray. Golbat's kind of scary. I don't like Golbat's. Uh, Rotom handles that pretty well. Big Toffs, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Um, especially, do we have person berries? I mean, Aeron actually does really well into all of this. We need a freaking ground type. I mean, I guess we could just straight up evolve Tortellini right now, but that would be cheating. You can get the secret key before fighting Jupiter, by the way. What does that mean? What's the secret key? Sableye has magic guard. Interesting. Oh, the item to change the Rodom forms? Hmm. What is, where is that? Does Laron learn Bulldoze? I hope so. Is there a Bulldoze TM? I don't know, that would be super nice though. I have Rock Tomb, but I do not have Bulldoze yet. Hmm. I do have Dig, yeah. Alright, so... Let's start over here. 
So really the, the scariest one is going to be the um, Skun Tank. Dark and Poison is good coverage. Although actually, this guy with Dig is probably pretty easy to, to take that, yeah? Especially if we give him a... I mean, Umbreon is just so good. Um, so let's bring, we definitely want, I think we want Rotom for sure. Um, yeah, I can't, Golbat can't really do anything into us other than confuse us, but that's okay. Um, Umbreon for sure. Tangela has Leech Seed and Sleep Powder again. So this is actually, I mean, Roserade is just a great counter into her again. Um, it is modest, so we need to be a little bit more careful, but it doesn't even have AP, so this is fine. It can't Leech Seed us. We have Natural Cure for Sleep Powder. Okay, so these three are good. Um, Gyarados? I mean, Gyarados is just a nice, fat, bulky boy. What's your defense like? peeps. Rotal, no. Bib Barrel, maybe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We definitely want Layron. All right, peace, sir, boys, it has. Um, Milo is pretty good here, too, I think. Well, we're weak to poison job. But we are neutral to Night Slash. I mean, we, we do resist Night Slash. Gyarados would be a pretty good pivot. Yeah, Gyarados is always a good pivot. <laughs> um, I guess we can bring Gyarados for this. That's fine. Got Mask Rain, too. Mask Rain's not terrible. Especially if we have Bug Buzz. Um, so Crobat is, again, also just super reliable. We resist Poison Jab. I'm sure we don't get one shot by a crit. And we're super fast. And we can always taunt it. Um, so I think I think Crobat is a good answer here. I'm just trying to think if there's anybody that's better. Machop? No. I mean, it'd be Machoke at that point. Um, Breloom? I mean, Fast Spore is nice. This is also... It's like speedy, right? Yeah. Um, we're immune to Poison Jab with this guy, which is nice. Yeah, low punny for stab return is probably fine. Oh wait, how are we dealing with this Sableye? I don't want to get knocked off. I guess I could bring Swablu for Sableye, but because it's not normal type, it's actually kind of a pain in the ass. Our defense is really low. Monferno Wall Skun Tank? Does, po does fighting resist poison? I don't think so. I don't, I don't see how that works. Um, low punny has scrappy. I, I forgot about that. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's busted. I always forget about that. Bake out into whatever should kill here. Yeah, poison resists fighting. All right, um, this is a good team. I'm convinced that this is the move. But now we just need to fight the billion other people in here. Ladian and Ariados. Those are actually kind of scary, are they not, um, in this game? Ladian at 24. As U turn, Silver Wind, Aerial Ace, and Mock Punch. Jesus. Um, yeah, so we can't kill with that, but we can just kill with this. Uh, and what does Ariados have? It's not Ghost type, is it? Man. I've been cool. 
Eridos at 20 something, 24 has Fairy Swipe Swords Dance. Uh. But then, I mean, it can't do anything to us here. I mean, I guess. Oh, it's got Leech Life. Oh, fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. Yeah, but you don't do anything to AA Ron. This is fine. All right, let's get these guys up to level 26 here. Okay, Ice Fang, hell yeah. Um, I think that's better than Flail. I mean, Flail strats are fun, but I think it's fine to do Ice Fang here. And let's evolve this guy now. Actually, hold on. Let's let's see if Aaron learns. Yeah, it doesn't learn Bulldoze. That's a bummer. Um, it learns Roar at level 22. <laughs> All right, we got a Aaron. Now we got Lele Ron. Whew, look at that defense. Amazing. Iron Head? Hell yeah. Um, lovely. Twenty one, twenty two. Substitute. Well, if it learns it naturally, right? Right. I mean, it's. Eh, we won't do it. Charge beam? Okay. Um, easy punch. Um, mods, if you're if somebody's there, do you want to do a um prediction for Deathless Jupiter? got a hard stone, right? Didn't we get that? Or am I making that up? Nice. And you can have an expert belt. Or a scope lens, I don't care. Cool. Oh. Uh. All right, well, I wonder what you have. Oh, okay, you're the one with Ladian. Got it. A lot of damage. 22. Dude, what the... What the crap? <laughs> oh, right, because... It was intimidated. That's fucking insane. I don't even... Um... It's got mock Punch too, right? It was actually kind of bad. Gyarados missed two bounces. 
Um... That's really dumb. Kinda gotta go to Rotom. <laughs> That's so stupid, man. I mean, we can't miss this. It's got Mach Punch, so I can't go later on. That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, Ariados is kind of scary here. <laughs> Probably going to sword stance, but... Not much we can do about that. Um, let's hope that we don't miss this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's really hope we don't miss this. Wow. That's so stupid. I'm so tilted. Like... Double bounce miss? I mean, I guess that's what I get for doing that. Um... <laughs> Alright, well, two deaths. Two water types, too. One of them being Gyarados is kind of shitty, because Gyarados is phenomenal, but hey... Now we uh, can't. Now we can't rely on Gyarados, so maybe we gotta get somebody to kill all the Pokemon that have substitute. Um. Okay. Well, see you, Gyarados. <laughs> I can't believe that. Fifteen percent into fifteen percent into one and sixteenth chance. Okay, well, um, that's a good reminder to not really rely on inaccurate moves if you can't, or if you don't have to, right? Now we know. So, okay, there's some grunts that have Ekans, Glamion, Nidoran, Coughing, Stunky, Nidoran, you know. So that all seems like fun stuff to kill with Chingling. So we'll just bring Chingling in for now and clear through this. Um... Alright. So, let's go and get... Give Expert Belt to him. Good. Glamio might have Bite or something, but... It's probably fine. These things are relatively under-leveled. I just came back from to the stream. Looks like you beat Gardenia. Yes, I did. Gardenia beaten. Oh, hey, dude. Hey, man. Hey, man. Um, I don't exactly remember. That wasn't the right way to go. Does fucker have sucker punch yet? Not yet. Not until 37, allegedly. Nice 0.0014 chance of two bounce misses into AA crit. Yeah. I'm not even mad. I'm just uh, 
a little bit miffed is all. I'm miffed, you know? This thing has crunch. All right, Umbreon, slow and steady, am I right? That's just incredible RNG. You know, it all uh, it all evens out. No, oh, fuck. Come on. Um. Hmm. Don't know why you. Oh, I guess Leech Life and Bite are the same in this game. Okay. Um. Who died? I missed it. Gyarados. <laughs> Uh, rock slide. Look, if Gyarados can't hit one out of two bounces, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I guess theoretically bounce might not have even killed, so maybe that was all just really stupid, but whatever. <laughs> Bite is 60, Leech Life is 80, but doesn't it have crunch? Learns Crunch at level 22. I think this is totally avoidable trainer too, yeah. Well, Thunder Wave is cool. If only I had a Gyarados that I could teach it to. Ice Fang would have probably killed that. Yeah, well, Ice Fang is like, what? 95% accuracy too, so. Uh, da, 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 da. Great. Well, that was worth it, I guess. Um, so my question is, do Stunkies have Pursuit? I should, I should really, they do not. Okay. It's safe to do this. You're going to fake out? Fain attack. Okay. Hey. Don't appreciate that. Okay. So the prediction is still on right because it says Jupiter, not random ass grunt before Jupiter. Correct. Yeah. It's Deathless Jupiter. We could have done Deathless until Jupiter. Remind me of Gyarados' nickname. It was Chicken, I think. Um, this is Coffee, Stunky, and Nidoran, so Ching Chingling can take this, too. Um, and we need some, we need some dark type resists. I mean, I guess technically this is a dark type resist. But this is fine. Sharp 23 damage. Iron Head is fine. All right. This game suddenly got a decent bit harder, didn't it? Aftermath, right. Remember that. Remember Aftermath. Um, hmm. It's been a rough one for water types. <laughs> yeah. It has, hasn't it? How far are you in this is my first stream. Love your YouTube videos, though. Thank you, Dej. Um, um, two badges in. Ah, which way do you go? I don't remember. I always just do both, you know?
There's a hound door on one of these, which is a little scary, I guess. Well, not really. Right, we can just use her. Gotta go pick up a few things for dinner. Be back shortly. All right, peace. Cleffa. It's gonna be hard. Love your YouTube videos, man. It's fun. Oh my God, nope, it's not. <laughs> it's fun to watch the process live in action. Thank you, Moxie and Fernape. I appreciate it. Uh, what's over here? Oh, there's, there's a lot of people around here. So, is that an item worth getting over there? I say yes. Oh, yeah, because it's totally free. There's the hound door. Uh, fake out. Damn, Peeps is disgusting. What is this beautiful I know, though? Shit. Um... I mean, honestly, return probably just kills this, but let's let's see what the beautiful eye knows. 23, it does know air cutter, mega drain, and silver wind. Annoying. But fine. It's gonna mega drain here, but... Oh no, is it gonna do the Omni Boost? No, good, okay. Scoruppy, interesting. Twenty-three. Pursuit, Poison Fang, Bug Bite? Okay, so this thing can't do shit. Oh, I guess you can do that. That's kind of scary. Yeah, of course. Okay, that's fine, then. Job Salt. Um... Oh, wait, I never... I, what was the item? Nice, okay. I mean, not really, but... I wonder if you get choice specs in this game, like specs and scarf. That would be super chill. All right. Still reeling about that Gyarados. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Scientist Travon has Drowsy, Matang, and Kadabra. Um... Sounds like you died at Eclair. Does the Cadabra have Dazzling Gleam? No. Shouldn't. All right. Um, Crunch. Ooh. Crunch. Oh, uh, okay. So the Drowsy has literally nothing to damage us with. That's fun. Rude. Fucking rude. Kind of scary, but not really. This should still do plenty of damage, yeah? Okay, um... Okay, um... Commander Jupiter has Golbat... Oh, wait, wait, wait. So... I don't know who that is. Okay, so this is that. Glad to be here. Hi. Thank you, Zuna Kai, for the sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you for five months. Also, I missed a sub 15 minutes ago from Garrett Joe. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the uh, the two months. I really appreciate it. Maybe I didn't miss you. I don't know. 
So this person doesn't seem to have a team. Do we have do we have to fight them? Uh Umbreon is fine here. Yeah, okay. What's this? Light screen, okay, so if I had to be a gambling man, I would predict on reflect here. Rarely do you see them in that order though, you know? Okay, um good. Now it's gar <laughs> now it's Mars time. After that little detour. Oops. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, Jupiter, whatever. Um, so... Who did we bring on instead of Gyarados? We had Chimeco. Gyarados... was only useful for Skuntank. I think. Because we were always going to lead... Rotom and do this, yeah? Tangela Happy birthday, dude spanking dudes. <laughs> Congrats on 25. Um so we don't need Chimeco for anything. I don't think Chimeco gives us that good of anything other than into Tangela a little bit. But if I wanted to have slightly better odds here, I could go, I don't know, Bronzong is pretty good. Um, or whatever, Matang. Yeah, Tangela does get wrecked by Roselia. Sableye gets wrecked by Lopunny. Golbat gets wrecked by Rotom. So it's really just the Skun Tank. And we don't have any goddamn ground types, which is really frustrating. Nor do we have anything that isn't resist both of her attacks. I mean, maybe we bring in Crobat? The barrel's okay, and it probably can learn Dig. Right? Um... Honestly, Shroomish. No, no, no. Grodal over leveled strats? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> we could just click to get it to 32. But I don't want to do that. That feels cheap. Um, man, if you were normal flying. Yeah, we don't have an amazing team into this gun tank. It's kind of scary. And it's got focus energy, so we want to kill it as quickly as possible. Um, I guess we do Bibarel. Can I set up? Uh, I don't have Defense Curl on it anymore, right? That was stupid. We also have Yawn on this guy. Okay, um, Bibarel, you might, you might be coming with us. You got plus defense too. My Lodic, if it wasn't fairy type, <laughs> the fairy type's screwing us here. I mean, Chimchar is also not terrible just because of uh, Fake Out here, but Iron Defense doesn't help me play around the crit. Physics and Soul Slayer and um, some name that I don't un can't read, but thank you all for the follows, Dangriers. Thank you for the follow. follow ben plays Z's Pokemon. Thank you for the follow. Doesn't burn to my Lodic, just dunk on Skuntank. Well, it's got... It's got... Uh, it's weak to Poison Jab. Does Steel still resist Ghost and Dark in this game? Unfortunately not. Or maybe fortunately. But right now, unfortunately... So, um, in this game, they give you all of the starters, and because this is a Nuzlocke, I've just picked one of them. So, I picked Bayleaf to use instead of these two, and Charmander to use instead of these two. Uh, same with Piplup. I picked Chimchar instead of Piplup. Saw you from YouTube. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it, Ben Plays. Maybe some Crobat Confuse Ray on Leyron. If I remember, Leyron can tank two crits from Skuntank. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Leyron is, is good. We may be overthinking this, too. Because Leyron is just pretty dirty. Um, I might want to teach it 
dig. Because dig is just more damage, right? 60, 75. Dig is 80 in this game, so 160. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Alright, I think we bring the barrel. I don't I don't think Matang is super useful at all. I mean, it does give us the poison switch in, but not really. Gun tank is a the poison jab crit is two kill. Two hit kill, I guess, yeah. Um, I don't want to use my Lodic right now, though. Let's do... I guess we just do Bid Barrel for now. It would be nice to have a, a Poison switch in, though. Oh, no, 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 we have the layer on. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Bid Barrel, welcome to the team. All right. <laughs> it's learning crunch. Um, that's not super useful, is it? Very typing my low gets two hit KO'd by poison jab. Yeah, it's, that's what I thought. Um, actually, water pulse is fine here. Aqua tail. That's better than water pulse, even if it's uh, it's inaccurate, but that's okay. Mm, we gotta watch aftermath. We gotta watch out for aftermath. Can anybody learn bulk up? No, of course not. All right, Covet, I think it's your time to go. Um, yeah. Okay. Return on Bid Barrel? It's not max, like, whatever, so we'll leave it for now. But the next time we go into PK Hex, I should definitely... Ooh! Peeps can learn dig too, but actually return is always just better than dig, right? Nah, it's about the same actually, but with silk scarf it is. Um I think we get rid of rock tomb here, because we can always reteach it. Okay, um Okay. Here goes nothing. Wish dig crunch toxic seems very busted. Yeah. We don't have toxic yet, but um All right, let's find that expert belt. Crit claw chesto expert. Oh, wait. Take given who are we giving chesto berry to? Roselia. Uh for sleep powder on the Tangela. Expert Belt, we're giving that to Rotom, I think. Um. Oh, whoops. Shit. Okay. Um, Silk Scarf. What else do we have here? Charcoal and Mystic Water? We don't need either of those. Well, what do we put on Bib Barrel? Um. Have I fought a Aaron? Not yet, yet. Um, all right, we'll just give him a Mystic Water, I guess. All right, the Skun Tank's gonna be a little bit prey and Jesus take the wheelie, but we'll see. Um, and 
poison on Umbreon is going to be a pain in the ass, but we do have Wish. Alright. Here we go. Um... Alright. I guess that's that. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm feeling a little, my, my confidence has been shaken a little bit here, if I'm being honest, guys. Okay. Here we go. I don't know. Off we go. Ooh, what's that item over there? Why save just in case something like crashes or whatever? It's just good practice. Secret key? Oh, right, I forgot about that. Was there a better form? Actually, there was... Roadhom Wash is way better here. Because then it's just resists... Ah! Oh, well. That's okay. No, I, I know you tried to tell me, I just forgot. It's gonna go... Oh, Giga Drain, perfect. That shouldn't do too much. I guess Rot oh, Rotom Wash would have been bad. But, yeah, Rotom Heat would have been nice. And it wouldn't have been weak to... Skunky. Oh, the other thing is, I wanted to actually take Lopunny's Silk Scarf off so that it doesn't get hit by the knockoff, but that's okay. It's whatever. Um, Sableye. But I think it's gonna knock off here, which kind of sucks. Oh well. Oh, nice, never mind, what do I know? Uh, there you go. So, is Rock Smash? super effective now, then? 60 into... So that's 120 versus return, so Rock Smash is better. Ah! Stupid fatty. Alright, that's too bad, because now it's going to knock off our Silk Scarf and do a decent amount of damage, but whatever. Never mind. Oh, right. Duh. We're fighting type. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Skun tank. Um... So do we survive here? Do we survive a crit here? Like, can I just go for return? Maybe not. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna set up uh, like a focus energy or something. So I don't necessarily wanna give it a safe, a free switch, but I guess it's not terrible to just go to either Eclair or Salt here. I think we go for Salt first. Well, nope, good thing we did that. Um, it's got a citrus berry too. Dig, I guess. It's going to focus energy, so yeah, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, how much does this do? 
Not a lot. Well, how much does... Oh, okay, never mind. Torment doesn't work like that, right? It starts now. Hi, Poppy. Oh my goodness, hello, sweetheart. Crit. I think we were fine there, but oh, that's a lot from Aftermath. Hi, sweetie. Hi, we're in a boss battle. What are you doing? No. <laughs> um, Alright, so this is probably either stun scoring, giga draining, or sleep powdering. Either way, I think it's totally safe to go into chickpea here. Yeah, so um, I guess the only way that could have gone bad... I mean, I mean, yeah, there was, there was still some potential scariness. And I think because of the... Um, it's faster than me. I think because of the... Aftermath... If I didn't crit there, I it would be say or it'd be smart to switch to um sorry. It'd be smart to use rock slide from there on out so that I don't get hit by the aftermath, but boom. Easy. I did not think that that would one shot, but whatever. Alright, sweet. Um yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. I got my Clefairy back. Sweet. Alright, what is this? Is this separate from Eterna City? Is this Galactic Building? Nice. Alright, well, what food is this Porygon? Jello? <laughs> I kind of like that. Um, ramen? Good job, B-Barrel. What a team player you were. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go get him. Uh... Beyond Meat. <laughs> I like Jello. I mean, it does kind of have Jello-y colors, yeah. I adopted the Porygon. Aww. Yes, I do. I want to name it Jello. Cotton candy. Good suggestion. All right, what level is this? Careful. Download. Okay. Download's pretty busted. Yeah. Charge beam, signal beam, recycle, and recover. Wow. I like that a lot. Okay, good to have that in our back pocket, lest we need it. Careful isn't bad. Yeah, it's not great, but it's fine. Oh, did it say Eterna? No, TG Eterna building. Okay, cool. The other ability would have become adaptability, though. Um... That's a good question. I don't know, actually. I forgot that PZ has completely different abilities. I think this one becomes adaptability. This stays download? Does PZ have download? That's filthy. 
That can't be right. It does. Damn. Wow. That's disgusting. I mean, I guess adaptability is pretty disgusting, too. <laughs> okay. I thought it was, um... I thought it was adaptability and analytics. Okay, cool. Um... What did she grab? Okay, um... To be honest, download is better for Nuzlocke's because you can play around special attack boosts. Yeah, download seems pretty damn good. I didn't know it was on PZ. You just gotta find the upgrade and the uh, dubious disc. All right. Um, cool. Oh, let's go get the bike or talk to the man in the bike store. Uh, here we go. Okay, right. So this is a toga tick, yeah? Jules D, thank you for the, what? The three months? I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Looks like somebody redeemed Bulby. All right. Eviolite Pori 2 is actually revolting. There's no Eviolite in this game. Hi, Bulby. How you doing, buddy? Thank you for redeeming Bulby Fish or PH Fish. <laughs> what are we doing? Bulby, two of my Pokemon died, and they were both water types, and they were both the random trainers. Well, actually, the rival was, was the other one, the Finneon. What is the best Eviolite Mon? Dusclops or Corsola, probably, depending. Where did you buy that Stubby Plush? Uh, online. Basically, what I did was, like, three months before my birthday, I t retweeted that, like, somebody... Or I retweeted a thing that was like, here's these Stubby things. And then I made sure my girlfriend saw it, and then she bought it for me. Yeah. I tweeted I needed that, so that's how you do it. Step one, get girlfriend. Okay. Um, Bulby? Thanks. Look over us, Bulby. Step one is impossible. Alright, so now we're supposed to go in here. Does having a boyfriend count? Absolutely. As long as they buy you things. It can be whatever you want. Okay. Togepi? Ah, That was a surprise. Okay, so what is Togepi's name? What kind of food? Omelet? How do you make it hatch so fast? Apparently... That it's just like part of the game. Egg, omelet, omelet is fine. I don't know how to spell omelet though. Really, it's just O M E L E T. I don't think so. O M E L E T T E, omelet. Yeah. Man, I can't believe anything you see on the internet nowadays. Omelette. All right, free Togepi, here we go. Oh, it's level one? That's not good. Rash is pretty good, I guess. Saring Grace. As long as it's not hustle, baby. 
Wow, this thing is busted. Hell yeah. All right, welcome to the team, Tojepi. Serene Grace, Saren Grace, Surin Grace. I don't give a fuck. Okay, uh, we're going to drop you off for now, and then we're going to bring this guy back. All right. Togepi pronounced like Giuseppe. Togepe. <laughs> Love it. Um, all right. Route 207. Oh, God, we have another dawn fight here. Oh, no, no, no. This girl. Togepetto. All right, and so that did indeed change, right? Cycle shop. That's pretty cool. Tokipi. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go do this dawn fight, and then we'll probably end it for the day. Um, so she's got the the Piplup, right? She's got Prinplup, Lopunny, Clefable, and Pilliswine. Yikes! It's kind of scary. We have the TM for protect, because that would be pretty cool. We have another Dawn fan instead of a Dawn fight. <laughs> I got two new encounters. I do, yeah. All right. Um... Do the people on Cycling Road still have, like, a shitload of steel types and stuff? So, can we now... Hey, dude, I missed you and your content. Thank you. I appreciate it. The Sabion, or whoever said that. Good boy Jones. Thank you. Um, so we can do this thing now? We can we can go like this and do... 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 Do secret key... What? Just go to the Selectic building? Is it this thing? This thing? Heft Corner. Heft corner this thing? Whoa. Ah. Neat. Um and I can do this permanently, right? Or like I can I can switch them around. It's not permanent. I've never used Rotom. Infinitely cool. Um, all right, that's the. What the hell is this? Oh, this is the microwave. <laughs> like, that's just a box. Um, yeah, Rotom Wash is pretty tight. Pretty toit. Our team is real weird right now. That's fine. Uh, Hydro Pump is dumb and accurate, though. Oh, hey, Rowan. I don't... We don't need to do this, man. Okay.
Rotom is made for the front of heart. What? Let's do... Let's do... Rotom doesn't change types in Gen 4, by the way. You sure? You sure about that? You sure? It's a... It's a ROM hack. Um, yeah, you are correct about it not doing that in Platinum, though. Regular Platinum, Vanilla Platinum, yeah. Okay, so... Let's get going. Oh, right. I actually, like, just have a bike, huh? I could have gotten this encounter already. Okay, this person has a Pichu, a Pichu, and a Pikachu. That's nifty. Um, we're just gonna... No need to fuck around with... Whoa, that was weird. Oh yeah, this is all stuff that could have been done earlier. My bad. I need to talk to the bike man and get the explorer kit. Uh, okay. I think I already talked to this guy, did I not? Did I forget to talk to this guy? Uh, a Dawn Stone? Um, I could use a Shiny Stone. Actually, this just gives us Togekiss, doesn't it? Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't see a downside to just leading Low Punny this whole time, huh? Whee! Fetched. Wee. Man, low punny is busted, dude. Oh, that 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 guy is gonna give me something, right? Oh, shiny stone is for Duan stone. Damn it. One stone is Gallade and Frostlass. Well, that's useless. What are those? Were that false swipes? Is that what TM54 is? Yeah. Useless. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, that's that's it. Ooh, what do you want? Thanks. Oh my god. Are those what I think they are? Are they Rost Berries? Oh, they're Raspberries. Okay. Um, 207. Oh, this stuff is dead. Sad. Okay. Um, Dr. Flag on one ball HG doesn't need false swipes. So true, bestie. Okay. Um, yeah, we can get fossils now if we want. So, fossils. Do, do, do. What? Um, so we get either Shieldin, Cranidos, Anorith, Lyleep, Ammonite, Amistar. I mean, Ammonite, Kabuto, or Cherodactyl. So, Let's look at these little buggers. None of them are ground type. Um, let's look at Aerodactyl here. Aerodactyl can learn Hurricane. Cool. It did not get a buff, but it did learn. It does learn Brave Bird, but not until level 53. That's pretty cool, though. Um, Aerodactyl. What about Kabuto? Kabuto evolves into Kabutops now, so we get Kabutops ASAP. But other than that. Nothing buffed. It could be battle armor. Armaldo. Also level 30. Ooh, it's got battle armor or swift swim. Ew. I don't care about swift swim. Armaldo looks pretty, pretty busted. Uh, 
Amistar. I don't think Amistar is, is the play. I mean, it's just slow. Habu Tops is pretty good, I guess. I think it's either Battle Armor or Swift Swim, right? What about Crawdilly? Could have Storm Drain. Storm Drain would be huge. And it's got Giga Drain. Got Ancient Power. Earth Power, Recover, Mirror Coat, Energy Ball. I don't know. Crawdilly's pretty gutted. It's been Hoenn Fossils and Aerodactyl, I'd say. I think it's between Hoenn Fossils and Kabutops. Storm Dream only works like normal Gen 4. Eh. Armaldo gets adaptability in this hack? No, it doesn't. Liar. Um, Rockhead Brave Bird. Yeah, but it could also be pressure, right? Um, Rampardos? Rampardos has Rockhead or Mold Breaker, which is pretty cool. What about Bastiodon? Bastiodon, I mean, we already have a Aaron, so I feel like we don't really need that. Bastiodon gets buffed attack. Soundproof and sturdy. <laughs> Choice Scholar for Rampardos goes Brum. Is Brum good? I don't know. I don't know, man. Just leave it up to a poll. Here. I have to pee anyways. You guys figure it out. Uh, fossils? Question mark? And I'm going to give the options of Crotily. Armaldo. Kabutops. Um... Aerodactyl. And Rampardos. Yeah. All right. Go nuts. You figure it out. I'm going to go pee. Subby, watch after them. All right, what are we looking at here? Looks like it's between Armaldo and Aerodactyl. Is 
Selby voted for Armaldo. Oh, I can vote. I didn't know you could vote on your own poll. All right, it's looking pretty clear that it's going to be Armaldo, so. Clunch? What is clunch? Well, that's a lie. You lied to me. Somebody lied to me. Who, who lied to me? Ban them. Oh, the lady in Eterna City. So nobody lied to me, I just don't listen. That, that sounds more reasonable. Whoops, well, let's hope we, uh, yeah, okay. Chade, I mean, fake out. Agility? Nah. You got a lot of birds there, lady. You some sort of bird lady? All right, cool. Dump that guy off. I mean, we're pretty we're pretty over leveled, and Low Pony has a lot of attack in this game. Um, all right, somebody close the prediction, so I can uh, actually. You know what? No, yeah. Somebody close the prediction. Let me know when it's closed, and then we'll uh, check the ability on this guy. Can I close the prediction? Oh, they're closed. Thank you. Um, all right. Let's see here. That's a good good idea for a poll. I like that. Do you can definitely do more of those. Just keep things interesting. Let's see. He is sassy, which is fine. Swift swim. I would have liked battle armor, but that's okay. Damn. Okay, way out. Let's go get um, an encounter from Route 206. All right, so from Route 206, we can either get Stunky, Slugma, heh, Mankey, Magby, Spoink, Numel, or Gligar. Or we can do a Honey Tree with a chance to get Heracross, but likely to get a Combi. I don't know if that's really worth it. And Pokey Radar is Torkoal. Hmm. You can repel Manip for Gligar. Wayward Cave Encounter. We could get Gabite. I don't know, do I have to fight Mira though to get that? Because she seems kind of hard. She's got a Togetic, a Haunter, a Porygon 2, and a Kadabra. How do you man repel Manip to get Gligar? Hydrate?
All right, cool. Yeah, I don't want to fight Mira if I don't have to. Let's, um... We can try Gabite. What level is the Gabite? Um... The Gabite is level 25. Uh, stretch? Alright. You do have to fight Mira to progress. Oh, really? Damn. All right, so the Gabite is going to have Dragon Claw if it's at level 25. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry, uh, Dragon Rage. Although, we can just we can just lead with a Fairy-type, right, Milo? Mira is mandatory. At what point is she mandatory? So am I not allowed to go through... Um... Hmm. Okay, we can get the Gabite. We have to do her before the dawn fight? What? Why? All right, so it says that the, in, in my docs, it says that, what am I doing? It says that on 206, the levels are 20 to 22. So Gligar is at level 22. Oh, man. Um, get a level 22 Pokemon, and it should guarantee Gligar. Okay, I mean, whatever. Sure, why not? I kind of want a freaking ground type, so that wouldn't be terrible. Oh, we're going to get two ground types. Um, and that's better than Stunky, Slugma, Mankey, Magby, Spoink, or Numel. I mean, Numel's kind of cool. Yeah, I want Gligar. And Torterra. Yeah, true, 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 true that. Um, well, that works out. Hi, right, Roselia. I'm going to sit one out for a little bit. Drought Torkoal might be better. Yeah, Drought Torkoal is pretty good, but if we can maybe get Vulpix. Plus, Torkoal is 22%. I can guarantee Gligar. I kind of like that. Everyone wants Gligar. Are you kidding? Okay. All right, Gligar. Gligar it is. Do I play with rare candies? Uh, yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. Um. We'll see if this worked. Maybe it did. I don't know. Or we got lucky. Gligar it is. Um, only problem is I don't know if I can catch this. Should I just one ball HG it? Oops, almost ran again. <laughs> Water pulse won't kill. Shut up. Yes, it will. Um, what does this Gligar know? Twenty-two slash feint attack, bulldoze, and wing attack. Yikes! This is kind of scary, actually. Um, but we can go to Crobat here for sure. I 
I feel like Gligar's not very good either. That's a crit. Um, I mean, even a crit Aerialist won't kill this, right? Yep. All right. Is it is it dark out? Is it is it dusk time? Leech life. I could leech life here. Oh, I should have crunched. No. I mean, Leech Life's not going to do anything, but I guess we can get it into the yellow here. Slash. Yeah, see, now we have to switch, though. Um, but we got Leron, although it does have Bulldoze, so I guess we just go Umbreon here. High time is 8 p.m. Okay, well, Pokeballs it is. That's some cute-ass damage, Gligar. All right. Bag. Nyeh. It doesn't have X scissors. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Bro. Okay. Um, um. Crunch kill here? Come on. Dude. Come on. Dude. One ball HG. There we go. Boom. All right. What did... What are we naming this? Baked beans? Buffalo wings? Is the same person suggesting tofu for every single Pokemon? Or is it like a different person suggesting tofu? Zucchini, crawfish. Ew, look at this. Look at this dancing little thing up here. It's weird looking. Hmm. Hmm. Crab sticks? Are crab sticks a thing? Red Lobster? Crawfish? We can do crawfish. Cheesecake, though. Buttered biscuit from Red Lobster? Mm. Old Bay? <laughs> chorizo. I kind of like chorizo. I don't know why. Let's do chorizo. All right, welcome to the team, Chorizo. Um, so Scythe guy, what you could have done is like when we had the Gligar, we could have done like a prediction, like when we were trying to catch it. And then we could check the ability now, but now it's a little too late. All right, let's check this guy out. Chorizo is a type of uh, meat. It's like in a lot of like empanadas and stuff like that. Um, all right, chorizo. You got hearty, 
I think that turns into poison heal, right? Right? Yeah, chorizo is fucking delicious. Um, that's hilariously great. Okay, um, so where do we get the razor claw? Whee! So I can't go this way? Ooh, what's over here? Ah! Uh... Um, was it crit? Okay, well, that was a little close. Razor Claw Route 215, Veilstone Galactic HQ, Route 224, Victory Road, Snow Point City. Okay. A lot of places, huh? Razor Claw is before Veilstone. LFG. All right, I will not learn my lesson, and I will continue to recklessly run through this. Wait, um... Trainer Pokes? Wayward Cave? No, where are we? We, we are on Route 206 or something? 207? On Route 207, yeah? What route am I on? Route 207. So Route 207, this hiker Justin and Kevin have a Graveler, a Sandslash, a Dunsparce, and a Dunsparce, huh? Well, um... Something tells me that as long as we just click, click, Aqua Tail, no, click, click, learn Dazzling Gleam, you cheater. Recover? Hell yeah. Um, they're super rollout focused. Well, then certainly we can just switch to that and dig, right? All right. Um, I mean, we can try not to run into this person. Whoops. Damn it. Ugh. Does Dunsparce cause me to wipe? Really? Body slam, huh? Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. 24? 34, so we're at range to a crit. Well, not anymore, but... Um, why is Dunsparce so good all of a sudden? Whatever, we'll just switch to layer on. Oh, it's got Saren Grace, that's right. Oh, no! Oh no. What else does this have? Are you fucking kidding me? That didn't kill? I should have just stayed in. I just was worried about a speed tie. Fucking asshole.
Oh my god! Stop it! <laughs> Watch you get the AP boost. I swear to God. Okay. Oh, man. This should two shot, right? Okay. Just, 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 just freaking, freaking. <laughs> I mean, it is a 60% chance, right? With Saren Grace. It's okay. I think we're fine because this will now synchro. Even if it paras, yeah. Okay, um, now we just have, if we get really bad flinch luck, I mean a para luck, then we're still screwed, but, okay, this should kill because, right? Thank you. That was wild. <laughs> Good thing that drill run didn't crit, huh? Well, what did I just risk my life for? Okay, well, if we ever get an Onyx or a uh, Scyther, that'll be cool. Okay. Man. Man. I ain't learning any lessons, though. Hope you know that. Uh, what's over here? What does this battle girl have? Is there anything over here? Um, got a Tyrogue, a Meditite, and a Hariyama. Is there anything over there? Razor Fang? Don't I want that? No, I want Razor Claw, huh? Come on. Wait, there's nothing over here. What are you talking about? Is it over here? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, well, that was that was pretty scary. Let's go. There's Camper Anthony and Picnicker Laura. Lauren, they have Magby, Traphinch, and Charmander. Or Smoochum, Snubble, and Trico. Those are both pretty easy. They're level 24. We should be able to handle them. Smoochum. Smoochum, Snubble, and Trico all go down to this guy. And that's uh, Picnicker Lauren. This girl. The medium doesn't fight. Okay. Oh, man. Fine. Fine. Fuck. Oh, wait. This is a fairy type. That was stupid. Iron head. Okay. This is Magby, Traphinch, Charmander. Um, so... Yeah, me thinks this is fine. Water Pulse. Water Pulse by Traphinch. And Water Pulse. Okay. That's the hiker with the Gravelers this time. 
Graveler and Sand Slash. I guess that's kind of scary because Milotic's defense is like ass apparently. So did Dunsparce get boosted? Let's just let's just take this guy out right while we're here. Ugh. Okay, uh, Milotic, you could you could stand to be a, a slightly better. <laughs> Are there any other major Pokemon stat changes in this hacks? Yeah, there's a bunch. Small Ant nearly wiped against that trap inch. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I want to see what Dunsparce got buffed to. Okay, so Dunsparce got 5 more HP, 25 more attack, 25 more defense. Slightly less spadef. Wow. Okay. And 100% chance to para? No. Oh, well, yeah. Based on our battle, for sure. But it was 60%, right? Um, okay. So this girl won't battle me. Okay, yeah, so we have to fight Mira. I think we can do Mira and then end it. That's a good place to end it. Um cuz I want to I want to go eat. So let's just look into what this girl has. She's got Togetic, Haunter, Porygon 2 and Kadabra. And then we can get the um we can get the Gabite later. Actually, before I forget, Um, we still can't get great balls? That's annoying. Okay. Um, gyro ball. Nice. There's a hiker man over there. I don't trust him. He seems mysterious. Thunderstone, okay. So this is where Mira is? Are you worried enough for Mira to make a deathless prediction? You can you can do that. I, I totally meant to Yeah, you can do that. Um Okay, so Togetic has Dazzling Gleam, Air Cutter, Soft Boiled, and Sweet Kiss. That's super annoying, but... Um, so Air Cutter flinches, but I think we can just lead Salt here. Iron edit. Um, Haunter has Shadow Ball, Double Team, Hypnosis, and Curse. Okay, so that means that any normal type, aka her, can't be hit. Porygon 2 has Tri Attack, Charge Beam, Signal Beam, and Recover. That's kind of scary. But she can also handle that. Um, thank you, Pokemaster. And then Kadabra has Psybeam, Grass Knot, and Dazzling Gleam. That's pretty scary. I guess actually Rotom probably handles that fine. If we get rid of Grass Knot. If we do overheat, or if we go to Rotom Heat. Yeah. Whoops. Thought I was leading her. Okay. Umbreon should live a Kadabra Dazzling Gleam crit. That's that's a good point, yeah. Um 
It's really just the Togekiss. I think we can probably get better answers in the Togekiss. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Crobat, right? But we don't have a poison move. Um... Okay, and in we go. Are you doing this for your channel? Uh, inevitably, or eventually, yeah. So let's turn this into Rotom Heat form, and then he kind of just dunks on Mira. Especially if we can pivot correctly. Oh, wait, whoops. It's over here. Did... Yeah, okay, so Hydro Pump just got replaced by Overheat. Interesting. You think you'll try some other hacks after this? Yeah, for sure. All right, Mira. Togekiss, Dazzling Gleam, Air Cutter. Um, the one thing is that with Air Cutter, it can get flinches. And we won't be outspeeding with Leyron. Oh, I guess Matang is also fine, right? We can bring Matang as well. Um, Milotic's not super useful here at all. Oregon is kind of useful. Who's our best special defense tank? I mean, I guess actually Milotic is, but Grass Knot is just way too much damage. Um, do we have a dark type? Kind of nice to have a dark type, huh? Oh, wait. What am I talking about? <laughs> um, Dazzling Gleam, too. Okay. I can PP stall with Floon and Gligar. That's true, yeah. And still got Signal Beam. And I think Low Pony will, will kill in two anyways. Is this clipped? Clip it. Clip it, Jafiel. Um, got Togepi too. And Chimeco, eh. Hi, sweetie. Hi, honey. Um, so it's really just the Adabra. Adabra's got Life Orb. Did you do do it with that cow, the 80%? Um... So you probably want to bait Life Orb uh, Psychic so that we can get a switch into Umbreon. Like, what what level is Umbreon? Bidoof is 28 modest with a Life Orb. Jeez, 76 Bidoof at least. Let me do the calc. Um, Kadabra. Umbreon. Yeah, no, this this kills if it crits. 76. Yeah, okay. Good thing I checked. Um, okay. And I've got low spadef and low HP IVs. But, again, I think that Rotom handles 73 
So Psychic is kind of bad, but honestly not even. We just want to... Um, and Crobat probably actually outspeeds, right? So as long as we can bait not Psychic with Umbreon, then we can just go to Crobat and then Leech Life it. Or Crunch. Like, I, I can't imagine Crobat, Crobat not outspeeding that. Kadabra's at 72 speed. Crobat's probably at, what, like 80 or something? 79, yeah. Okay, so that's fine. And I assume Crobat Crunch kills this. Ah, it might not. Uh, what's my... 62 attack. It's... Oh, but with Expert Belt, we can do it. Okay, so... Um, okay, so... That's fine. Let's go to... So if we can kill Togetic with these two here, um, then we got Peeps or Haunter, who just sits there and takes it. Um, and then we got Porygon, too, who can also go down to this as well as um, We don't have a great Porygon answer. Though Matang, Matang is fine. Sort of, Matang and Leiron. But she's, she's good. Well, 61 Spadef is pretty good. Um, I feel like that's still the best play. Porygon answers to PP stall. Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need to make room for Gligar and Floon. For you to fight Dawn, is that before Mira or no? No, Dawn is after Mira. So this is this is first. Uh, Porygon is expert belt, so that's fine. Um, it's calm too, so it's not going to get a boost there. Yeah, I think this is fine. Um, is any of are any of these not that useful? I could replace Jawbreaker for someone. How fast is Togetic at 27? Togetic is slow as shit. Thirty-four. We outspeed. As long as we outspeed. Whoops. Oh yeah, we definitely outspeed. So we. Oh, we don't. Damn. We got bullet punch though. Um, Dazzling and Air Cutter. Is there anybody better at dealing with that? Not really. Growlithe slash Arcanine would be kind of interesting, but I think that's fine. What's the level cap? The level cap is 33. Oh, wait, actually, this will go up a level to 27. I'm just like sort of roughly staying consistent. Leveled. Hi, Pop. He wants to be in here? All right, let's just try it here. Her mons are 28 if you want a rare candy Matang up. Um, one of her mons is 28, Kadabra is 28, but the others are... Um, so we'll get him to 27, so now he outspeeds. Hi, sweetie. I'll come play in a sec, okay? We just gotta beat Mira. Um, but I do think I still want to keep, I still want to keep Leiron, or I still want to try and do Leiron against the Togekiss, because the uh, Jawbreaker is good against, um, Kadabra. So, let's take this off and give him Metal Coat, I guess. Okay, you get lefties, we can keep lefties on you. This, 
Um, yeah, Crobat is just for more coverage against Kadabra, so um, we can Expert Belt this one. What do you have? Expert Belt, yeah, so we don't need Expert Belt on you. We can put Charcoal on you. Why do I have three Miracle Seeds? <laughs> um, Silk Scarf is fine on you. That's whatever. And then um, on you, Expert Belts would be nice on you too, but we can't afford that. So let's go ahead and just give you an Orin Berry, I guess. I don't know. It's probably fine. All right. We got it. I have a suggestion. I think Poppy should fight Mira. Word. All right, let's do this. Start a community garden with all those miracle seeds. Okay. Um. Wait, who am I leading? Yeah. Fought that guy. All right, Mira. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, I got Repel on, right? Hey, little girl. I am recording. All right, yeah, so Togetic's a little scary here because it's got Sweet Kiss, and then it'll start flinching with Air Slash, but it missed the Sweet Kiss, suck it, 75% accurate. And this is a two shot, right? It's a, almost a one-shot. Damn. Go off, Salt. It's got lefties. Dazzling Gleam. It's a lot of damage, though. Jeez. Okay, good. So the... Okay, Haunter is next. Um, so Low Punny is safe here. The one thing we have to watch out for is Curse, but yeah, Shadow Ball. Okay, Fake Out. That's so much damage. I think Return would have just killed. Is Fake Out? buffed in this, or is it still just 40? I guess low Pony is just disgusting. Kadabra. So presumably it's using Psychic here. I guess it could be using Dazzling Gleam. So... Maybe I go Jawbreaker. Just kill it with return? I guess I probably could, right? Well, actually, I don't know if this outspeeds. 70? It does not. Nice try, though. But return probably would kill, yeah. This is why you don't listen to chat, for the record. <laughs> Oh, it's Life Orb with Magic Guard? How filthy, man. 
Um, yeah, so I, I guess Psychic kills here, so we probably want to go Jawbreaker. We resist all of Cadaver's attacks with Jawbreaker, right? It's, and if it goes Dazzling Gleam for some reason, like if both kill and it hits Dazzling Gleam, that's really bad on Eclair, yeah? So let's just go Jawbreaker. Hopefully it doesn't do too much, but we'll see. I guess this FDF drop here would suck. Oh, it's Psybeam. Never mind. Just don't confuse. I think we Iron Head, but maybe two into two bullet punches kills. I don't think it does, though. Let's do Iron Head. Yeah, that shouldn't do shit. <laughs> Never mind. What do I know? That, that was a lot of damage. I guess Jawbreaker is pretty heavy. Okay, so if it's always Giga Drain, then it's totally safe to go Cake Batter here, yeah? I don't know if bu Bullet Punch... Oh, wait, wait, but Iron Punch. Uh, Iron Fist, right? We have Iron Fist, so Bullet Punch should kill. Because Bullet Punch is about half of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Iron Fist, baby. Okay. Um, Porygon 2. I have no idea what this is going for. <laughs> um, I, I presume it's going for either Charge Beam or Signal Beam. We can go here. Probably Signal Beam, right? Yeah. Oh. Easy. Yeah, this is fine. All right. I guess I could paralyze me here. Should be annoying. Yikes. That was a lot. Crit would have been bad. I think we would have just missed out, though. I think we just would have missed the crit, but I guess crit into burn would have killed. Yeah? Not totally safe there, but I mean... Honestly, it was fine. We could, I guess we could have switched to Umbreon. Tried to go out. Umbreon needs, Umbreon needs Toxic. Should have gone for Drunk Kick. Why on earth would I have done that? All right. Cool. Um, Mira, we're not going to do this now, though. We're going to go ahead and end it here. Nice. Oh, she healed my Pokemon. Thank you. All right, sweet. That is... Wow, we got a lot of stuff and... She's already at level 29, so just got to watch that. Let me just get back to... Orberg. All right, this has been really fun. I've been really enjoying streaming this. This game is a lot of fun. Um, chat's been really active. I really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun, guys. So we'll be back on Sunday. Um, Saturday, there's going to be a new video, so you can check that out. Um, I've been lazy and just haven't downloaded the VODs, but I'll, I'll throw up the VODs of this one and the last one sometime this week, I guess. And um, the highlight from the Pokemon Y finale will be out tomorrow as well so there's plenty of stuff to check out exclamation mark highlights if you want to do the uh, highlights channel so that all that was a really fun elite four so you should definitely check that out oh on super bowl sunday yeah but it's it's a it's in the i'll be doing it during the the uh, afternoon so i'll go up until like i'll just do it for like three hours or something um probably like noon est to three est and then i'll go and uh 
watch the superb owl. All right, guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their week. Uh, and I will see everybody Sunday, hopefully. Okay. That'll do it. Um, we can hop into a, a raid here. Who's, who's streaming? Anybody? Point Crow. <laughs> point Crow and Small Ant. We can do Point Crow. Why don't we? Why don't we, I've never rated Point Crow. Um, how do you? How do you? Capital P. We can just hop in there. Um, what is he doing? It looks like he's doing Undertale. Interesting. Okay. I mean. You guys want go and hop in the raid if not thanks for hanging out i hope everybody has a great great evening all right peace